लेड बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी पर्सनल पोलिटिकल एग्रेशन द पैशन एंड डीप सिनर्जी एंड स्ट्रैटेजी दट द बीजेपी इज वर्किंग विथ इन टू मेकिंग इन रोड इन टू तमिलनाडु लेडीज एंड जेलमैन प्लीज वॉच द पिक्चर्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड एंड मार्क माई वर्ड्स टू नाइट टेन ओ टू पी एम टूडे आई एम सेंग द बिगेस्ट हेडलाइन ऑफ दिस इलेक्शन सो फार इज द अटेम्प बाई द बीजेपी टू एंटर तमिलनाडु विच इट विल इट शुड नॉट बी लॉस्ट ऑन एनी वन लुक एट द क्राउड लुक एट द रिस्पॉन्स द प्राइम मिनिस्टर हिमसेल्फ has been to tamil nadu more than one dozen times in the last 6 months but it would be folly on the part of anyone to dilute the significance of the bjp trying to make inroads to become the third force maybe the second force in tamil nadu politics everywhere the dmk is responding to the bjp even more to the dmk the dmk congress combine is threatened in an environment of only and only dravidian politics that has been spanning over 6 decades hindu vote polarization is a reality and the bjp is squarely saying that the anti dravidian politics ladies and gentlemen this entire this entire attempt by various parties to say that in tamil nadu the bjp cannot have an entry is something which is going to be proven wrong in this election but why i believe that the bjp's campaign must be watched is because they are going for the jugular ladies and gentlemen it goes beyond the headline of the prime minister personally being invested in the campaign it is about the fact that no matter where you are you get a feeling that the bjp is going for a seat conversion a dent and then to climb on to the run up runner up position up across maximum seats in tamil nadu my information on the ground is that the bjp could win many 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 more seats i'm not putting a number than what people are thinking the bjp is contesting 23 on their own dmk is contesting 22 they have got an alliance which is robust two of their allies regionally are led by ex ministers in the upa government so the strategy of the bjp is deep most importantly they've got a young leader very aggressive very dynamic annamalai who's a very strong local face hand picked to deliver and a slogan which says my soil my people which tells you what i said long ago the prime minister's plank is integration in tamil nadu where politics has been anti sanatan anti hindu the prime minister is saying nation first in a politics that says hindi imposition prime minister goes to tamil nadu repeatedly not now but since 2 or 3 years ago saying that india is proud of all its languages and by bringing in kachatiwu into the election campaign i believe the prime minister has once again gone for winning the trust of the people of tamil nadu to say the bjp is for their causes the dmk is fooling them the congress is lying to them shattering the narrative of a hindi belt first party it is interesting ladies and gentlemen and it's a big state to watch out for in my view watch out ladies and gentlemen the south is turning towards the bjp let's debate With 2024 grand finale just days away, Prime Minister is leading the most aggressive campaign in Tamil Nadu. The Prime Minister has visited the state over 20 times in the past four months. making his mega development pitch jald hi bharat ko duniya ki top 3 economy banana isme tamil nadu ki chennai ki bhi badi bhumika भारत सरकार चेन्नई जैसे शहरों को विकसित करने के लिए निरंतर काम कर रही है फ्रॉम ऑफरिंग प्रेयर्स एट द श्री रंगनाथ स्वामी टेम्पल इन त्रिची 
taking holy dip in Rameshwaram to going all guns blazing on Congress over Kachatibu. Tamil Nadu me, Bharat ke samudri tak se kuch dur samandar me ek tapu hai, ek dweep hai, Kachatibu. Ye Congress ke logo ne. इंडिया लाइन के साथियों ने मां भारती का एक अंक काट दिया। With BJP's firebrand leaders Tamil sides on the Rajan and Annamalai in the poll fray, BJP hopes to scale the Dravidian wall in Tamil Nadu. It is very clear there is a huge wave for Narendra Modi in Tamil Nadu. In places like Coimbatore, which are growth-oriented cities, and the wave is more now. And we are extremely confident that come April 19, the people of Coimbatore, the people of Tamil Nadu will vote for Narendra Modi ji in an overwhelming fashion. And June 4 will herald a new era. They have not taken any concrete steps to prevent the floods. Before asking PM, I will ask, where was the MP? Local MP did not turn out at all. How can they ask our Honorable Prime Minister, sent our uh, uh, Finance Minister? Uh, sent our uh, Raksha Mantri and they did a survey and they helped immediately. Uh, they sent all the rescue team. Can BJP make a serious dent into Tamil Nadu? Will Anamalai's game plan deliver for BJP? Let's debate. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, joining me first is uh, on the screen. She's been former governor and now is the high-profile candidate of the BJP from the high-profile constituency, ladies and gentlemen, of uh, Chennai South, Tamil Asai Saundarajan. Uh, good evening, Ms. Saundarajan. Good evening. And last time we spoke, you were governor. Yes. And now you are back into active politics. Yes, yes. <laughs> thank you for hundred. I always, I always had a suspicion. May I say this at the start? I always had a suspicion that you were going to go back into active politics. Oh, so I always had that correct. feeling, even when yeah, I spoke to you correct. last. Yeah, I was <laughs> during the governorship. It was also I was fighting uh, for uh, certain rights. <laughs> yes. yes. For, uh, mm. Uh, Ms. Sondarajan, uh, the Prime Minister is spending so much time, so much energy, so much focus on Tamil Nadu. Even one of his first TV interviews in this campaign has been to Tanti TV. You know, a Tamil TV channel showing the importance he's giving the state of Tamil Nadu. But can you convert it into seats? Or is it just going to increase the vote share a little bit? Can so there, all, can there mm -hmm. be a vote seat share conversion in your view? First of all, yeah. uh, first of all I thank our Honorable Prime Minister for focusing on Tamil Nadu because for quite some long time, for long years, the Tamil Nadu did not go into the national fold. It was under the Dravidian fold and it was almost cheated by the Dravidian parties. Now the Honorable Prime Minister is focusing and whenever he comes, the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Stalin says the Prime Minister is sleepless. But I can say only Stalin is sleepless because he is commenting why our Honorable Prime Minister is repeatedly coming to Tamil Nadu. Because when he comes, the, the, uh, the misgovernance of DMK is exposed. The corruption of DMK is exposed. The underground mafia, drug mafia is exposed. So now the people understand how the Dravidian parties were only pampering and they were pampering with some freebies and there was no any concrete developmental activities in Tamil Nadu. For example, they provide uh, free bus travel and uh, 1000 rupees but the women doesn't have any opportunity like Mudra Loan or Startup India, Stand Up India. So they don't have any schemes like that. They camouflage all the central government schemes and they set a false narrative. For example, NEET. 
they do they very well know they cannot remove neat but they told after they come to power the first signature will be on removal of neat and they very well know that nep cannot be taken back because the uh, education is in the central subject but they till they tell they will remove nep then like that they set a false narrative and they built a false vote on that and always accuse our honorable prime minister because he is focusing on tamil and he is focusing on tamil nadu now they are worried because the, there is a shift from the dravidian force dravidian mindset to the national mindset the national mindset cannot be towards congress because 1967 the dmk finished the congress shamelessly congress is uh, hold, traveling on the shoulders of the dmk so now the people want an alternate force the people want a change at the same time this is cooperated and it is combined with the our honorable prime minister's visit and the strong padayatra and the strong action and the proactive measures of our our present president of the bjp and his padayatra drawing a no, good, uh, young this, youngsters crowd yeah this 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 approach uh, the the basic approach of bjp is to bring hindu population together you know with initiatives like kashi tamil samagam saurashtra tamil sagam samagam bjp has been trying to strike the hindu chord sanatan chord among amongst the tamil population dmk says listen this is not going to work there is no pro hindu sentiment in tamil nadu there may be a pro hindu sentiment in uttar pradesh there may be a pro hindu sentiment in assam there can even be a pro hindu sentiment tomorrow in west bengal but there can never be politically hindu vote polarization in tamil nadu because we have not had it for 7 decades it will not happen now no can there be hindu vote pro hindu vote polarization in tamil nadu yeah because first of all i want to say we are not relying only on pro hindu votes we are relying on the developmental activities of our honorable prime minister for example vikshit bharat tour the all the schemes were highlighted in the tour and the people are benefited each and every family will be benefited by the good schemes of our honorable pm at the same time the hindu population is continuously humiliated in tamil nadu for example the tamil nadu chief minister wishes all the minority uh, celebrations functions and he doesn't wish the hindu population during deepavali during vinayaka chaturthi i am asking what type of secularism he is following so he thinks uh, insulting the hindus the hindus uh, won't bother and it will fetch votes for him so first time the uh, even when murugan was there the veil yatra gained more momentum because nowadays the hindus of tamil nadu feel they are humiliated they are ignored again and again asking one question why the chief minister if it is the president of dmk it is okay but all the religious uh, uh, sentiments should be there when they when it is dealt with the chief minister the chief minister of tamil nadu is not wishing the hindu population for deepavali means then on which a platform they are building their party so nowadays hindus started feeling that so this consolidation you... will definitely help us not only that along with the developmental activity but this good this election of is your Prime focus Minister will help us it... see admk is becoming weaker and weaker and weaker in tamil nadu people can say anything beat the lok sabha elections or the state assembly elections the numbers speak for themselves about the declining state of the admk you know uh my question is that would it not have been smarter to tie up with the admk this time take whatever remaining vote share they have at least for no. this election and then go yeah. solo in 2026 assembly election no no you could first have converted all, more seats first of so, all so my ADM question is are you 
so my question is that are is your strategy for 2024 or 2026 for both for both we want to construct a strong foundation during 2024 and we we have aligned with pmk uh, tmc and uh, other parties because during 2014 election we were not with admk we were not with dmk we were with uh, DM, uh, pmk dmdk Uh, Vijay Kant Party, Vaiko Party, and Ramadas Party. Now the Ramadas Party is yeah. with us. The DMDK has become a minor player in Tamil Nadu. So at that time we got eighteen point five percent votes. So without ADMK, we have gained our vote share, and we won two seats, three seats, including Pondicherry. So why I am telling? Because of uh, uh, two seats we won. So why I am telling? Because already we had tested the ground without ADMK. And uh, I, 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 during my campaign, I say we are facing the people. We are asking the votes because we have a strong PM candidate. DMK doesn't have a PM candidate. ADMK doesn't have a PM candidate as well as a CM candidate. It is fractured. OPS is with us. The Nagaran is with us. So a significant share of the ADMK vote bank is with us. It is not only exclusively with EPS because two fractions of ADMK. the nagaran and ops are with us and uh, pmk is with us so this alliance is a strong alliance you cannot say the alliance without admk it's a weak alliance because now admk is almost left out so the fight between dmk and bjp and because of our honorable prime minister's good schemes and our honorable prime minister's repeated visit to tamil nadu and the strong action by okay. the local leader like anamalai and the a strong organizational work by our karyakartas today you should have uh, noticed the uh, josh in the tamil nadu politics josh among the tamil nadu cadres it was only two chennai three chennai we gathered it's not from all of tamil nadu the gathering was from mainly from south chennai and from central chennai the, and few oh yeah. from north chennai I, so you, you you should have seen a few years back we well, were Wouldn't have been able to do this, but no. Yeah, no, I think there is a transformation I think, of I think, mindset. I think this is. I think this is very exciting. I I I said today anyway. I said the biggest story, Miss Andarajan, of the 2024 election is going to be the BJP entry into the south of the country. I think yeah, the really. cynics are going to be extremely surprised. Only question is how much they convert. Thank you and all the best, Tamala Sai so Andarajan. Thank you, will, you very much. Uh, yeah, we'll track you very closely. You You will you will give Thank headlines, you. headlines. BJP's victory headlines, particularly Tamil Nadu, South Chennai also. I am very confident. <laughs> okay, she is she is very enthusiastic there. Thank you, Miss Sundarajan. Thank you so much. And I have with me C R Keshavan, national spokesperson of the BJP. I think first time after many many months or years that he is coming on my program. So good to see you, Keshavan. It's Wonderful excellent to, to you have you on the program. I think you came pleasure. once after you joined the BJP, and now we hope to see you more frequently. Sora Shukla, uh, editor in chief of News Mobile, Pula Rao, Pro DMK, and Abhishek Sudhir. Okay, CR, I want to start with you. Can you convert this time? How many seats are you looking at? First thing, Arna. In Tamil Nadu, today's uh, rally reflected the love and affection and the faith and trust the people of Chennai. And Tamil Nadu have in the PM. Why? Because they have always seen a politics of riddled with corruption. Today, you have a prime minister, and the DMK talks, you know, empty rhetoric of social justice. Modi ji has assured social justice. How? Non-discriminatory delivery of development programs without corruption. The people realize this because it has percolated. They they are fed up with the DMK's you know misrule, and they have seen you know how uh, the uh, you know they failed the state and they have borrowed three point five lakh crores in the last thirty five months. Tasmak has ruined the women's lives, drug menace, and you pointed out rightly the DMK and the Congress you know shakuni like match fixing gave away kachit even betrayed Tamil Nadu. So the people of Tamil Nadu find this DMK Congress alliance untrust untrustworthy, unreliable. and unprincipled which is why they feel modi ji's politics <coughs> of progress no let me complete please politics of progress and development modi ji's guarantee is the you know is the vaccine they feel will defeat the dmk virus of dynastic politics appeasement failed promises and misrule and coming back to your point arnab see tamil nadu 2024 is going to be west bengal 
2019. People talk about a linear growth. Let me tell you this: there is a groundswell of support for the Prime Minister. In 2019, the BJP increased its, you know, seat share from two to 18. Its vote share went up by 23 percent to 40 percent. Precisely what you are going to see in Tamil Nadu here, because. Because of the programs Modi ji has delivered, you know, the last ten years are now eleven lakh crore has been given, in, you know, money has been sent to the people directly in developmental programs. Two point six seven lakh crores has been disposed to five point two crore beneficiaries by Mudra. Be it forty four lakh farmers being benefited by PM Kisan. You know, ten point nine lakh uh, hectares of land being irrigated. The Prime Minister puts Tamil Nadu in front. Be it the Sengol. You know, in the forefront of a parliament, be it Kashi Tamar Sangamam, like you said, whether it's this, you know, defence corridor, mm. spaceport inauguration, he feels a uh, Prime Minister Modi ji knows that the women and youth of Tamil Nadu are a driving force for developed India, and a developed Tamil Nadu is going to play a very significant role in realizing the dream of Modi ji's developed, you know, India in 2047, which is why he has given so much focus on Tamil Nadu, and which is why the people are reposing that faith and trust. And let me tell you this. The DMK you know, the, the, uh, also politically, also was strong opening remarks out there. Get Pularao into the debate. Look at it politically. Out of five constituencies in the which the BJP Pularao stood second in the last general elections, two seats belong to the Congress, Kanya Kumari and Sivaganga. We all know the situation of the Congress party. Maybe BJP will convert Kanya Kumari, Sivaganga, aggressive campaigning, right? And the other constituencies where the BJP was second, Coimbatore. Ramanathapuram, Tuttakodi. Now these are big margins in some of the places, but you know, the ADMK is losing its vote share. The BJP alliance is much stronger. The Prime Minister has invested a real lot, right? And uh, Hindu vote consolidation. Many people believe it's going to happen this time. It's going to surprise you. Well, let me tell you, I heard the governor. In fact, the BJP is appearing as a second factor in in Tamil politics. Well, I heard the governor speak and Mr. K. Sivan. Largely, I don't disagree. They have correctly pointed out Prime Minister is a popular man in the South in Tamil Nadu, which I have been saying. He has been paying attention. People like attention, and he is popular. He is respected, and they know he is trying to do something. But the question I always ask is, what you have been emphasizing? Can you convert? Can you convert these votes to seats? And there, I know I have a disagreement because going from four percent. To fourteen percent, going from four percent to eighteen percent, whatever it is, I say fine. It's possible. I'm not going to contest figures from Mr. Keswar. Uh, you know, he must have done good work to come up with those figures. But you need thirty-three percent to get a seat. And yes, Kanya Kumari, Ramnath Puram, and Coimbatore may come in that that you know line of reaching thirty percent. And you know they may have those two, three seats, which I don't doubt it. You know, you have to be if you take a balanced view. Yes, but the main thing, which the weakness of this whole effort, is that the opposition is divided in Tamil Nadu. It's not the DMK which divided the opposition; they divided themselves. I don't know why. I don't know why. You know, people say, "Oh no, they want to grow. They want to contest all those seats." Why? Then the result of that is your growth will be. Fair enough, Mr. Kesavan says it's not incremental. It is uh, what's this called? It is one. Uh, there's a word for it. It is, you know, where uh, it leaps and bounds. But still, in a place like Tamil Nadu, with a lot of the reason, I'll let Kesavan respond party. once quickly before I open it up, Kesavan. One thing, uh, Arna, you talked about Hindu consolidation. Such an important point you made. Tamil Nadu is an aberration. Let me just make one point. You know these people talk about anti-Sanatan Dharma. They said they're enemies of Ram. They called uh, Sanatan Dharma AIDS, and you know they said they will split India. You know, let us understand one thing. You know, you, what is the symbol of the Tamil Nadu government, which yeah, represents eight point five crore people? It's a temple, Gopuram. Tamil Nadu is the land of spirituality and religion, and when the Prime Minister retraced the steps of Lord Lord Ram, you could see how sentimental people got. So. Two three points. See, these DMK India Alliance talks about saving democracies. Mr. Stalin was jailed by the Congress emergency, and he said it was the worst time of his life. They talk about washing machine and corruption. The DMK minister has been in a jail for two fifty days. What are they saying? He talks about he is against one nation, one poll, and you know one civil code. He is only about one family and one position. And you know they talk about you know the lotus will never groom them. They are rattled. 
by the prime minister's popularity and the people's trust and faith and let me tell you this like you said the people have seen through this devious shakuni shakuni like match fixing games with the dmk congress they are fed up and i'll tell you this it's not a split in the opposition vote or not it is a pro bjp vote the people are looking for a change and modi ji's guarantee is the alternative they've been looking for years now that it has come they will repose their faith and come april 19th when they vote and june 4 when the results come we'll discuss i think one thing is people of, of tamil nadu people of tamil nadu if if it happens i would say if bjp goes beyond 10 15% i think indian politics is going to change big way tamil nadu politics is going to turn i yeah. think that without a doubt abhishek you would accept what crk sevan has said that this time the biggest talking point in tamil nadu is the bjp See, is the prime minister the bjp has a clear game plan in tamil nadu yes the fact that they made cr keshavan a national spokesperson tells me they have a game plan mr keshavan didn't really get much traction in the congress he used to come on your channel as a congress spokesperson was an excellent spokesperson but he disappeared from television screens the congress loses talent the congress has a lack of talent problem now i have a tremendous amount of respect uh, for mr keshavan and his grandfather of course the late sri rajgopalachari an icon to me and my family we come from the same community uh, i'm also from tamil nadu from sengalpet district padainur is my village but let me tell you mr goswami north indian viewers viewers have to understand that tamil nadu politics the axis is not religion it's not hindu versus muslim communal politics has no takers in tamil nadu it's always the politics of social justice now you had tamil sai saundarajan who you interview tamil sai saundarajan right is a nadar you have dinakaran right extremely corrupt i'm happy to i i can say that mr keshavan will deny it but mr dinakaran who is being fielded on the nda umbrella you have paneer selvam jalalidas right hand man nagendran you have inducted tainted aia dmk leaders into your fold and you're giving them tickets okay you're playing caste politics the aia dmk has become a gounder party under palanichami okay so you are giving the tevar tickets you are making a play for the nadar vote you are allying with pmk in north tamil nadu you want the one year vote the bjp will win if they can play the caste politics of tamil nadu and our prime minister modi from the party of the bjp that always opposed the release of rajiv gandhi's assassins is playing tamil subnationalism they talking about what is tam- tamil subnationals of kachatibu kachatibu one minute one it minute one minute one minute one minute no 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 i'm sorry stay with that window there what do you mean tamil yeah. subnationalism kachatibu is an emotional issue it is not just no no one minute please. it's not just about the seeding of land i was speaking to mr jay shankar yesterday i said it's not about the seeding of land it's equally about the fact and i think i think uh, saurabh will come into it it's about the fact that the dmk which says it is for the people of tamil nadu lied to the people of tamil nadu and took a different position in private a different position in public i think you are saying you are for tamil rights tamil fishermen but you quietly went into the inside deal look at Are that point of time with the indira gandhi nations. government i'm sorry i am sorry i want so, so, no 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 i'm sorry no so so sorry for so the bit sorry sorry for so the bit sorry everyone on stay with this yeah so just to take the argument further let me say kachathibu is the issue this of national is the issue of subsistence for tamil nadu fishermen and as we speak here there are back no, channel part i even pronounce of the tamil kachathi you will, and you're going to talk about tamil nadu come on where Let you will speak. get get a big progress on this issue i can tell you from informed sources because this is the issue linked to india's national interest on how you were giving away because of political expediency a part of the country to to a foreign country because of your own because of your own gains you thought that you were acting like a feudal king that you could give away a part of the country just because you had political expediency that's not going to happen now the prime minister's message and he's a very astute political leader Everybody. he's done two things one he's Let saying me. yes on social engineering because that's important to gain a seat in tamil nadu that's a f- electoral reality that he realizes he has fielded leaders like annamalai who also pose a clear alternative in the front of people of tamil nadu plus coupled with his own national image why is he spending so much time in tamil nadu because he is sending a message that one bharat one tamil nadu tamil nadu is the economic hub for a new bharat and that is what he is trying to portray here by you know campaigning aggressively why is dmk uh, so afraid of this because of the fact that 
You have damaged relations with a friendly nation, Sri Lanka. You have damaged relations with a friendly nation. No, no, no. One minute, one minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. Is upset. No, no. One minute. One minute. Don't change the goalpost at this stage, viewers. Please note. Please note. One minute. One minute. One minute. Please note that after the aggressive intervention of Saurabh Shukla, my friend, there has been a little changing of the goalpost by Abhishek Sudhir who says, no, 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 I'm concerned about the fact that you're damaging relations with Sri Lanka. No, we are in the middle of an election. So votes in Tamil Nadu are more important than relations with Sri Lanka. Speak about the local politics. That is local. That is local. Speak about the local politics. The Sri Lankans are now going to bring up bottom trawling in the Indian Ocean. The Sri Lankans are going to bring up bottom trawling. Why are you damaging Arna. relations with a foreign power? Arna. I want one state. CR case of an on the debate on this one. CR, Arna, CR, 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 CR responding now. CR responding to Abhishek Sudhir, please. Kachet Tivu is not a historical blunder. Kachet Tivu is a historical betrayal. We know that, you know, in independent India, it, the rights was within with the Raja of Ramnad. And after 1948, after abolition of Zamindari rights, it was vested with the Madras state. Kachet Thivu was an integral part of independent India. Nobody can take that fat away. Nehru said he doesn't care about it. He'll give it up. Indira Gandhi said it's a little rock. What happened was the DMK hoodwinked. Rich you attacking know, Nehru now. Huh? Very rich. Uh, Mr. Please don't interrupt me, Mr. Stalin. Very rich attacking Nehru when you're exchanging enclaves with Bangladesh. Times you're okay with now. exchanging enclaves with Bangladesh. Years. Oh, Bangladesh is okay. After this huh? revelation, Arna, Are speak about know. the exchange of enclaves in Bangladesh, Mr. Keshavar. The, 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 the DMK along with the Congress fixed. Yes, one, the, let him complete. Keshavar, louder. They betrayed the people of Tamil Nadu and now the people of Tamil Nadu are aware that they have been betrayed by DMK, which has been shedding crocodile tears. And now they are very angry and they teach both of them a fitting lesson and don't take Katsitivu lightly. It was a, it is very sentimental because that is the root cause. It's the root cause for the problems the fishermen and sisters and brothers face. Every day when they go out, they are attacked upon. They have been shot at. They are detained. The imprisoned people have died. It is because these people gave away Kachetyavu in such a, you know, jackal-like fashion. And the Prime Minister only remembered this when the election in Tamil Nadu was happening. It is not about politics. Jayashankar has issued a reply on Kachetyavu multiple times. I will not be silenced. One minute, one minute. I will not be silenced. Your external affairs minister has replied in parliament multiple times on Kachetyavu. The position of the government under Modi has changed today. In the last 10 years, they have been saying Kachetyavu was given to Sri Lanka. This debate. Because it was just a, you know... 250 acre land which is the, position viewers, when what is, voting. What is, what is happening? Day. What is happening is... What is happening, uh, Keshavan, just intervene for a moment. Can I give two views of my own? Please. You see, the BJP is working with a clear game plan in Tamil Nadu. Even not going with the ADMK in alliance is part of the game plan. The Sengal being installed in part of parliament is also part of the game plan. The Kashi Tamil Samagam being put in place which aims to promote and propagate and rediscover links between Tamil Nadu and Kashi is very well thought. The Prime Minister through this cultural program has flagged off the Kanyakumari Varanasi Tamil Samagam train and also and also launched multi-language translations of classic Tamil literature. There has been a focus, a deliberate attempt and I don't think there is anything wrong with that. In fact, I want to say this. That if the Prime Minister of India is putting the focus on Tamil Nadu, it is one step further towards building a stronger nation at a time when there are some people who say that the South rises. You see, Pulla Rao, an attempt to divide the South of India from the rest of the country right. is one last desperate measure. And I am not I taking names, off. but I shall say, but I shall say, I shall say, I shall say that there is a frustrated columnist in Hong Kong and another frustrated ex-member of the Lutian circuit who has no idea about Indian politics sitting in New York who have written frustrated pieces trying to indicate that the south of the country will vote in a different way from the rest of the country and therefore save the Congress party. Well, it won't. What if it doesn't pull around? What if the people of Tamil Nadu say, yes, we want, we don't want to be divided from the rest of the country. We want to be closer to the rest of the country. We will not believe in anti, you know, we, with this whole feeling, trying to build a sense of alienation. We compete between people of Tamil Nadu and the people of the rest of the country will fail and is bound to fail. Oh, maybe I, a buy-in for yeah, it. I, and then finally, Pulara, what is the basis I, of all this? I, I, what, 
what is the basis of all this? Uh, uh, the DMK, ADMK say, we stand for Tamil rights. No, you don't. You gave away Kachativo in 1974 as part of a secret arrangement. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink with Indira Gandhi. Karunarudhi himself <laughs> gave it away. Have you even seen the document? Have you seen the minutes of the meeting where, where Karunanidhi says, I agree with you, but I'll take a slightly different line because I'm in Tamil Nadu politics, so I'll do one thing and say another. Have you seen that? Yes, I have. Have you seen the document? I have. I have, have you seen it? You're laughing. Yes. Have you seen the yes. document? He's have a, you read the document? I have. He's a, he's a patriot. Yes, Karunanidhi is a patriot. Why don't you look at it like that? He, he went along instead of rebel rousing there, he went along. Let me also ask you one simple thing. That's I quote you. Oh, really? You said really? we are in the middle of an election. Naturally, bombastic statements are issued on all sides. Naturally, some statements may be over the board, but this is the middle of an election. And the other point, which I, I, I saw your interview with the foreign minister. It was a very good interview. But I just want to ask you one simple question. It was only 260 acres of land. And China has built an island, many islands. One of them is three thousand acres of land. Every eight thousand, what do you mean two seventy acres of land? You reminds me of a Nehru said. Oh, no, there three thousand acres of land. No, oh, the south is the strong land. This is blasphemy. China built an, China built an island. You know, Jaisal Kanhi was there. Blasphemy says here. Another island. See, are accusers pull off blasphemy on my program today? Because Mr. Nehru said, you know, uh, Aksai Chin, no blade of grass grows there. What did Maharabi Tyagi say? He pointed at you know, his head and said, this is bald. Will you give it away? Because nothing grows no, here. That was this then. is the same that like that is called indifferent dismissive attitude. Then. Every inch of that land which is Indian or Tamil or Gujarati or Assam is ours. How can you dismiss Don't it forget. away? This is Bharat Mata. Don't forget. This is our motherland. Don't forget, Indra, no, Indra Gandhi is, was one of which the biggest he, wars for India. Don't forget Indra Gandhi. Land. Kodigatta Kumaran and Tamil Nadu, because the national flag could, shouldn't fall on the ground, gave his life. That is the place where Tamil Nadu is. Of land of Kodigatta Kumaran, you know, who so, held the national one flag point, in his one hand. Point. You know, so that, you know, it wouldn't fall on the you ground. Finish, you you finish, but I have one question to ask you, Mr. Will you go and answer to the families of the fishermen who have died today? Mr. Or who have been in prison today question. because they went, and, they went out to earn a livelihood? This is pathetic and yes, shameful, yes. sir. Such a senior person like you. The How can you the modify the position of the country? I'll give you a solution. The I'll give you a wonderful solution. I need one sentence. Two sentences. That's a wrong way to answer the problem. Two sentences. emotions of the people of Tamil Nadu. Don't quantify the land. This is bigger than the size of the land or how big it is or how small it is. No, no, no. Let me finish. The Prime Minister Why did can easily oh, oh. Why did the ruling the party not issue any statement on Kachachi? The shallow land there. Saurabh, Saurabh, last word, Saurabh. Saurabh, 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 BJP is running away with the, running away with the, with the narrative setting. No. no so I tell you, today, Kachachi, again, I will reiterate, it's a issue of India's national interest, national sovereignty. And today, the friendly government in Sri Lanka understands the sentiments of people of the country. As I speak today, there is already oh. back channel parlays which are happening, which will you will see in due course a solution coming out which respects the sentiments of the people of Tamil Nadu. The damage that was done to the fishermen, that will be restored. Okay. This is this is what you will see in a new Bharat. The that South will remain BJP. Please, please don't try to don't try to build a north-south divide, sir. Don't try to build a north-south divide anymore, ladies and gentlemen. The BJP in Tamil Nadu. Mark my words. Story of the 2024 election. Story of the 2024 election. The BJP in Tamil Nadu. Don't, don't, don't undermine the importance of this. And Abhishek Sudhir. You can laugh. You can laugh out as much we as you want. South are smart. I will. I will we laugh will at you on the day of the result, ladies and gentlemen. Quick thirty-second second ride commercial break, and after that, the Indo Park debate final section tonight. Amity has been ranked among the top universities globally for producing the most employable graduates by the Times Higher Education UK. Yet another testimony to Amity's excellent placement record. 
Good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The BJP has gone in for the jugular in Congress, the, calling the Vadra Congress Party manifesto comparing comparable to the Muslim League Charter. So the BJP says that the Congress is sounding like the Muslim League. And by reacting in the way that they have, or rather overreacting, the Vadra Congress has only, in my view, worsened its problem because now more and more people are looking with a magnifying glass at the Congress manifesto. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Day after Jay Shankar shredded the Guardian's anti-India narrative asking Pakistan to go figure out who killed the terrorists, the US has gone into a no-comment mode on the Pak terror killings. Ladies and gentlemen, this even as there are reports of Hafiz Saeed battling a mysterious illness, sparking speculation and conspiracy theories. Let's debate. Pakistan's tale on mystery terror killing has crash-landed. I don't India's normally read the Guardian. Is there a particular article? Something allegedly happened in Pakistan. Okay. Two people in Pakistan. Presumably nationals of Pakistan. Right? That's what we are talking about? Yes. Then you have the wrong end of the stick here. People should be asking Pakistan, who are these people? You know, why, why are their alleged deaths causing uh, concern? Well, you remember that Hillary Clinton bit about snakes in your backyard. I think you have enough snakes in your backyard. Snakes may bite each other. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's happening in Pakistan. It's for, you know, for them to figure out what is happening. A day after External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar dismissed anti-India narrative by the Western media on India's role in targeted killings, the U.S. State Department has toned down, stating it won't meddle in India-Pakistan dispute. Session on Pakistan India tensions uh, because Pakistan uh, Pakistan says that uh, Indian government uh, assassinated dozens of individuals uh, in Pakistan, while the Indian Defence Minister appeared to confirm that the Indian government carried out extrajudicial killings in Pakistan. How do you see this situation? So we have uh, been following the media reports about this issue. We don't have any comment on the underlying allegations, but of course, uh, while we're not going to get in the middle of uh, this situation, we encourage both sides to avoid escalation and find a resolution through dialogue. All this even as buzz over India's most wanted terrorist, Hafiz Syed, battling mysterious illness in Pakistan, have been doing the rounds. This coincides with Western media alleging India's involvement in the assassination of several high-profile terrorists in Pakistan. Tonight, Pakistan's failed narrative to malign India's image has been exposed. Let's debate. Chalani is a well-known author, professor, strategic studies at the Center for Policy Research and uh, one of India's best-known geostrategic thinkers. Uh, Brahma Chalani, U.S. not getting into this, uh, you know, just sort of waving off that question. Uh, did Pakistan expect a, a, a bigger response after the planted Guardian piece, which was summarily dismissed by the, uh, by the foreign minister in his interview with me yesterday? Uh, what, how do you view the U.S. response uh, the foreign minister's oh, yes, yes. comment and uh, the Washington, uh, you know, the state, re st the, the U.S. response to the Guardian piece. Yes, please. Well, I think uh, the U.S. Uh, clearly doesn't want to get into the middle of this because uh, of late the U.S. has made statements that have annoyed India. They have been, those statements have been seen as if the U.S. is seeking to interfere in India's election process. So on this question, they were more careful. But the fact is that Pakistan's links with terrorists remain intact. And Hafiz Saeed was actually listed as a global terrorist by the UN in 2008. And the US in 2012, four years later, put a 10 million bounty on him. And yet, as we know, Hafiz Saeed who's one of the world's most wanted terrorist leaders, has been living in the open in Pakistan. He's been spouting jihadist propaganda and plotting attacks against India. So all this clearly indicates that 
the battle against international terrorism cannot be won unless the nexus between Pakistan's military and terrorist groups, unless that nexus is broken. That nexus remains intact, unfortunately, and uh, and and even if Hafiz Saeed is critically ill, the fact is that individuals don't matter in Pakistan because the Pakistani military will create new terrorist leaders. They are in the business of of creating terrorists and um, and turning some of these terrorists into terrorist leaders. So even if Hafiz Saeed is not no longer around, the battle that the Pakistani military is waging against Pakistan's neighbors by using terrorism as an instrument of uh, asymmetric warfare, that instrument will remain intact. I, my point is, Hamid, can you hear me? Uh, Brahma Chalani's view, I take it very seriously. You know, he's really, really respected across India. I've, I've followed him over the years, and I'm sure you have as well. Uh, what is this about Hafiz Saeed not being well, being poisoned, dying? I mean, if he's not well, if he's poisoned, if he's dying, it's his own business, unfortunately, for him. And, uh, you know, uh, it's Pakistan's business. Pakistan is a psych now. Every time a terrorist dies on your soil, you say India killed him. The only thing is, uh, it is very shameful that how India betrayed their friend UAE's trust by using their soil to infiltration terrorism on the foreign countries and using Dubai and other friendly countries for as a platform. Second thing is confession by the Indian government that they are involved in foreign terrorism. It is a clear case of a international Which confession crime. by which there government? What do you mean there confession? For Hamid, Indians. what there confession? Hamid, 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 one minute, one minute. Hamid, yesterday, Yesterday afternoon, one minute, one minute, one minute. Yesterday afternoon for us, I mm -hmm. did a one hour, reply, seven minute please. interview or so with the foreign reply. minister of India, S.J. Shankar. Yeah. No, no, but, but S.J. Shankar said, what article? Yeah. And I said, you don't take it seriously. He said, I don't take anything. He said, no foreign government takes an article which quotes intel sources seriously. Yeah. So for okay. us, you're a serious okay. analyst. I just intel say, sources mean I nothing. Just say the way... The way Indian has Intel been sources exposed, mean nothing. The way Indian government and everybody is shaken Where? with the one article based on the fact the Guardian's Where? article have shaken the entire Indian no, Where? India, the entire Indian government because now it is a question shaken. from the friendly countries. Shaken. It is a question from the I think, friendly countries. I think it's... I think it's... It just shows... One minute. Your damage plans. That is the question. Why India is using UAE? You're saying French that's what you're Arab saying. Two. No one. Why one, no one. India is exploiting this one. Hamid. 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 Friendship. That is my question. Hamid. 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 I'm sure Faraz will agree you with me that question, if we are exploiting okay. UAE soil to attack yes. India from UAE soil, then the first thing would have been it's for the government of UAE to respond. They will. You no will foreign that. government they is have, responding they for have us. Very much I mean. Concerned. They have very oh, much sure they will. For us, to for us. The situation and the so when they will, we'll see. They are not responding now. For us. If for you us. Let no, me no, no, you can't. Then, for us. If you let me complete, please. For us, please. For us. You can't hear I the will truth. after for us. If you can't hear the truth, that is the sad thing about the whole situation. When I try to show you the what happened uh, real for us? picture. I'm waiting when for I him, I lost the line. The reality. You can't even listen to me then. That if is it's the not there, it's not the way of limited I time. I want, I want you, Bra Bra Brahma, Bra Brahma, Brahma, the strategy of the Pakistanis was plant the story, friend. go for foreign headlines, go for foreign headlines, <laughs> distract attention from the situation that you are facing, slowly build up a narrative within Pakistan that India is responsible for this, for that, for this blast, that blast, India is carrying out acts of terrorism. There's no response. I mean, I think they are getting frustrated now, Brahma, because it's been only, three days, there's the no response from any government. India is denying Not a single now, one. Because well, of the pressure well, you know, of you're right. Uh, Brahma, please, yeah. Brahma, Brahma, the question is to Brahma. If you but will not once, let you know, the, I, I don't know how the UAE has been brought into the picture. There is no such you connection. Um, uh, if the U, soil if, you know, if India was terrorism. using UAE soil, the UAE would have responded uh, by now, uh, as you rightly point out. So you know, this is uh, just um, disinformation being spread by the Pakistani ISI. The fact is that when 
several of these terrorists were killed. They died in mysterious circumstances in Pakistan. The speculation in Pakistan was that these characters had been bumped off by the Pakistani ISI as part of Pakistan's efforts to clean up its act uh, in view of the promises made to the Financial Action Task Force. So at that time, no accusation was made against India that, that India was involved in any of these killings. And then suddenly the Guardian publishes a disinformation piece, a hit job, and, and now in Pakistan, they have seized on that article to blame India. The fact is that when these killings happened one by one, India was not, was not being blamed for those killings. Uh, there, is a, there is a more fundamental thing in Pakistan, which is apparent from the present government in Pakistan. The present government in Pakistan was installed by the military. The, the military's favorite party failed to win the elections. Despite that, the military has brought this party to power. Clearly shows the kind of power the Pakistani generals have. They have a wise-like grip on power. And that wise-like wise -like grip on power needs to be broken. Civil military relations in Pakistan must be re rebalanced. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, only then can Pakistan yeah, become so a normal for us, state. So for us, it's not work. The whole... So, 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 you know, Guardian peace, lack of response from India, dismissal by the Indian foreign minister, dismissal by America. Uh, Pakistan is going crazy. Oh, Hafiz Saeed is dying. He's been poisoned. What does all this reflect? What does all okay, this I'm reflect? The whole thing flopped for us. I the whole thing I flopped. In my view, I, your I whole strategy, planting thing, stories, everything just clear. flopped. I, I want to make. I want to make. I want to make one thing absolutely clear that before it was. Daud Ibrahim, today it was Hafiz Saeed. I've, I've gone through Twitter trend in Pakistan and Hafiz Saeed is not even in below uh, uh, top 10, uh, 10 trends in, uh, in, in Pakistan. The local, the local populace is not even interested in discussing Hafiz Saeed or for say a, a Guardian story. The local audience did not even pander to the uh, Guardian story in Pakistan. However, I feel as a political commentator, I understand that Guardian story would sell quite better to the Indian audience for Prime Minister Modi because it shows how emboldened the India's India's new policy is that it can strike anywhere. Therefore, it can sell better to the Indian audience rather rather putting it as an orchestrated story by the Pakistan okay. agency. You know, it's not selling at home in Pakistan. I'm just I'm just giving you uh, some. Uh, facts and observation that what's what's really going in on the ground. I'm not giving any kind of verdict over that how it was not a manifestation of some uh, uh, a fake story by ISI. I'm just telling you the reality uh, on the ground. Pakistanis are yeah. not interested. No, no. In I, I, think, I, think, I think. 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 It's one of those things for us. For us. For us. For us. It's just one of those things. You know, it just came and went. Uh, I know the ISI put in a great effort into getting that piece out in The Guardian. Better luck next time. Viewers, thank you very much for watching tonight to Brahma Charani, Faraz, Hamid and all my viewers of The Debate with the promise to see you sharp at 9 o'clock tomorrow on The Debate. Only for tonight. Good night and goodbye. Amity has been ranked among the top universities globally for producing the most employable graduates by the Times Higher Education UK. Yet another testimony to Amity's excellent placement record. <laughs>
गहरी साजिश के तहत यह मामला बनाया गया है और इस मामले के पीछे किसी घोटाले की जांच का मकसद नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिराने और खत्म करने का मकसद है आपने मेरा काम देखा हर पल देश के नाम और मैं आपको कहता हूं 24 फोर बाय सेवन फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सेवन ये मोदी हर पल आपके नाम हर पल देश के नाम और इसलिए मोदी कहता है आपका सपना मोदी का संकल्प है Та, безумовно, ну, був блокаут держави повністю. From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Ladies and gentlemen, Arvind Kejriwal's attempts to distance himself as far as possible from Liquor Gate, build a distance, stay away, not be associated, if required, blame it on Sisodia. All of that has failed. The Delhi High Court has directly linked him to the liquor scam conspiracy, saying he was part of the conspiracy. The Delhi High Court has upheld his arrest. And the Delhi High Court has said that Arvind Kejriwal was directly involved in the formulation of the liquor scam policy. And now if Arvind Kejriwal was involved in the formulation of the liquor scam policy as the court is alleging, then he can no longer distance himself from the liquor scam. Therefore, till this afternoon, before what the court said, Arvind Kejriwal was presenting himself as a victim. Arvind Kejriwal and the AAP was presenting Kejriwal as someone who almost didn't know, was unaware of the whole scam, that there was a scam happening. He had no idea about it, that people were making money, crores were being made, siphoned. He had no idea. Arvind Kejriwal was innocent of all the information. But now, that the court is echoing what the ED has alleged, who will believe Kejriwal or the Aam Aadmi Party? Maybe not even their own supporters. So far, the allegations were of the ED. The allegations were of the government. But now the observations are of the Delhi High Court. Kejriwal's strategy has been to take an image of victimhood among the people. Now the same people will ask him why the court does not believe him. Why the court does not believe he is innocent. Why the court says that his arrest is completely legal. So what is the long and short of it, viewers? The long and short of it is that Kejriwal does not have either a legal or a moral defense tonight. And the worst thing that could have happened to Kejriwal is to have been linked by the court to the liquor scam conspiracy. Now let me ask you all tonight, all of you and I know many of you, maybe even Kejriwal supporters. Let me ask all of you, including Kejriwal supporters, after what the courts have said today, after what the Delhi High Court has observed today, would even you, after what the courts have said, 
give Kejriwal the benefit of doubt. Yes, some of you will say, Arnab has not been convicted yet. Yes, I agree. But after what the court has said, he does not have the moral edge anymore. Debate one tonight. The Delhi High Court flatly dismissing Arvind Kejriwal's case today. Upholding his arrest. Accepting the allegations that he could have collected kickbacks as AAP chief. Is this becoming Kejriwal's liquor scam? Debate two tonight! Prime Minister's very aggressive campaign in Tamil Nadu. Is the BJP on the edge of making a serious dent? Changing the mood in Tamil Nadu? The shifting political sands in Tamil Nadu debate 2 tonight. Debate 3 this evening. America says we don't want to get into the kind of rubbish that is being published by The Guardian about India killing Pakistani terrorists. Indo-Pak debate on that is at 10.30, a day after Jay Shankar's comment dismissing The Guardian piece. And here are the headlines this Tuesday evening, the 9th of April on The Debate Tonight. Delhi High Court dismisses Arvind Kejriwal's plea challenging his arrest, observes Arvind Kejriwal is involved in the formulation of the terrible liquor policy. Amidst the focus of Arvind Kejriwal in the terrible and corrupt liquor policy, AAP says this is a witch hunt but is completely on the back foot after the court's observations. Prime Minister leads extremely aggressive campaign as the BJP tries to make inroads in Tamil Nadu. Prime Minister on a roadshow in Chennai. A day after S. Jayashankar shreds the park killings theory and the exclusive interview to Republic, the United States says they are not getting in the middle of it. Which states ke hum naam badal dein, to kya naam badal dein se China ki wahi states humare ho jayenge? Defence Minister Sharp retort to China renaming several places in Arunachal Pradesh says what if India made similar changes to names of places in China. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, singularly this is the biggest ever setback for the Ahmadmi party. And the biggest possible setback for Arvind Kejriwal in the Delhi High Court, Arvind Kejriwal had challenged his arrest and the Delhi High Court has said that no, his arrest was completely legal and that he was allegedly involved in the formulation of the terrible, dreaded and corrupt liquor policy called the liquor gate or liquor scam. This, ladies and gentlemen, without doubt, is the big, not just the biggest legal blow, but it takes away any, any shred of a moral defense that Arvind Kejriwal had so far. Let's debate. Two years of BJP agencies have been killed by some of the raid marks, some of the people have been killed. But now, there is no hair-fair अगर भ्रष्टाचार वाकई हुआ है इतने करोड़ों रुपए गए कहां ऐसे फर्जी केस में आम आदमी पार्टी के कई नेताओं को इन्होंने अभी तक जेल में रखा हुआ है किसी के भी खिलाफ कोई सबूत नहीं है कुछ साबित नहीं हो रहा खुलेआम गुंडागर्दी चल रही है किसी को भी पकड़ के जेल में डाल दो केजरीवाल चार्जेस ऑन द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टोरेट इन द दिल्ली लिकर गेट केस हैव फॉलन फ्लैट in a scathing observation, the Delhi High Court said Kejriwal's arrest is legal while rejecting Delhi Chief Minister's plea against ED arrest. The court established Kejriwal's link to liquor scam, pulling him up for formulating the liquor policy. 
कोर्ट ने ये भी कहा है कि एविडेंस मिला है और एविडेंस जो है मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग और मनी ट्रेल पूरा मिला है ये सारी जिक्र जो है ये सारा जिक्र जो है जजमेंट में है अभी मैंने जजमेंट पढ़ा नहीं है जजमेंट मेरे हाथ में आएगा पढ़ूंगा उसके बाद मैं विशेष टिप्पणी कर विद केजरीवाल लाइकली टू नॉक एट सुप्रीम कोर्ट डोर चैलेंजिंग दी हाई कोर्ट ऑर्डर द आम आदमी पार्टी कंटिन्यूज टू क्राई वेन डेटा पॉलिटिक्स की ये पूरा का पूरा मामला भारत की राजनीति में आजादी के बाद से लेके सबसे बड़ा राजनीतिक षडयंत्र है एक गहरी साजिश के तहत यह मामला बनाया गया है और इस मामले के पीछे किसी घोटाले की जांच का मकसद नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिराने और खत्म करने का मकसद है BJP has hit back at Aam Aadmi Party saying Kejriwal has been exposed in the court. Jo tatthya samne aaye hain wo bahut gambhir hain. Sabere se ye prachar tha ki zamanat ki yachika lagayi hai. Court ne bahut spasht kar diya ki zamanat ki to yachika hi nahi thi. Wo to hirasat pe hi sawal uthane ki yachika thi. Yani ahankar itna bada tha aur tatthyon ke dharatan par wo chakna chhu. Is it Kejriwal's liquor scam with Kejriwal in jail is aap staring at an existential crisis? Let's debate. Okay, let's see Rina Gupta there, and, uh, just getting seated out there. We'll show him on the screen. Is uh, Sudanshu Trivedi? So it's AAP versus BJP. But uh, Akash Deep and Subrashtra are starting the debate. Akash Deep, after today, I think nobody will believe. the app because the court has made some very strong observations here right now giving no defense to kejriwal till now it was all that the charges were from the ed but now these are the observations of the court so will you start attacking uh, yeah. the court akash deep yeah uh, anand ji as uh, this is the matter regarding the court i hope that i will be getting the time i just want to remind you about uh, Uh, the time date of seventh February two thousand twenty-four, when in the excise policy uh, related matter, Delhi High Court denied bail to Amadi Party leader leader Sanjay Singh in money laundering case. The same uh, evidences were put in this particular matter in the High Court, and the same evidences were put in the, this particular matter in the Honorable Supreme Court, where the Honorable Supreme Court Justice Khanna said that there nothing has oh, been recovered. it means that there is no proceeds of crime and there is no trace it means that there is no money trail this is i am not paraphrasing i'm just quoting the honorable court justice khanna court nothing has been recovered there is no trace so and so now, uh, that is why this particular matter in this particular matter of arvin kejriwal ji where when this matter will go to honorable supreme court this matter also will see the same light it seems that The matter saw in the case of Amadi Party leader Sanjay Singh, who got later on bail okay. from Akash Deep. I'm getting Subrashtra to respond and opening it up after that. Thank you. I'm keeping it brief at the start. I want to point out, viewers, please keep in mind what the Honorable High Court has said today. But the Honorable High Court has said that Arvind Kejriwal is allegedly involved in his personal capacity in the formulation. of the liquor policy and demanding kickbacks and secondly in the capacity of national convener of aam aadmi party till now subrashtra arvind kejriwal's argument was mujhe kya pata hai ji mujhe jo pata hi nahi ye sab kisi aur ne kiya main to signature bhi nahi karta hu main to tha hi nahi mere ghar mein kuch nahi hua this is the first time that is direct name is coming with the support of the court observations of the court subrashtra your response to the initial observations of akash deep then we'll open this up arnab <clears throat> i would just want to read something else that the court said the court said the petitioner has been arrested in money laundering case and the court has to examine his arrest and remand as per law irrespective of timing of elections the court also observes that <clears throat> who gives tickets for contesting election or who purchases electoral bonds is not the concern of the court i think these are all arguments which will be made by 
the aam aadmi party spokesperson sitting right here so it is important for me to set the context right there that the timing of the election has nothing to do with it and if arvind kejriwal or our aam aadmi party was so concerned about the timing of the elections they shouldn't have waited for so many summons the first time the summon came he should have rushed to prove his honesty and his alternative politics and his vision to the people of this country saying that well elections are around the corner and i don't want to make this a political issue so let me just go and settle the scores right there now on what akash deep is saying let it be very clear akash deep that the honorable uh, you know high court also observes that material collected by ed reveals that kejriwal conspired and was involved in the formulation of excise policy and used proceeds of crime so you might not be able to trace the money trail and it might not be in the public domain because arvind kejriwal has still not resigned from his constitutional position of being a chief minister of delhi and therefore he can he can uh, 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 you know uh, compromise with the findings later on and he can compromise certain offices as he holds a constitutional post and not everything has to be in the public domain right now so i don't understand why is the aam aadmi spokesperson so gleeful the fact that the honorable high court is reprimanding kejriwal the fact that it is laying bare the court and court alternative pol- policies of kejriwal the alternative politics of kejriwal i don't no, know the, what is so gleeful about the, this the, because the as, a, as as a voter can of I delhi speak now? i feel the ashamed that i have a chief minister i have, minister. The, 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 I have the, a chief minister okay, who formulated a liberal policy now? Can I now? to receive kickbacks from certain individuals and i have Hello, this chief can minister i speak now so shameless that he does not have the moral gumption to resign prove his innocence and then come out in the court of people to say yes, sir, elect me to make a no, what, what was the, the what was actually incorrect statement made one minute one so minute now now now, now reena and sudanshu are on the sorry, debate thank you only two only please on the screen the thank you and 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 These now and now and now and now viewers i want to tell you i i want to tell you i want to tell you please please understand sudanshu ji and reena ji 917 pm मेरे हाथों में जो ऑर्डर है उसकी ऑफिशियल कॉपी करीब सौ पेज जस्ट आई है मैं प्रिंट आउट मेरे पास स्टूडियो में आ रही है मैं अब उसको पढ़ के सुनाऊंगा और उसका कारण यह है कि जब भी बातें की जाती है तो आम आदमी पार्टी कहती है अरे आप तो ये ईडी की बात कर रहे हो ईडी की कोई वेलिडिटी नहीं है सीबीआई की कोई वेलिडिटी नहीं है सरकार की कोई वेलिडिटी नहीं है हम किसी को भी नहीं मानते वी डोंट बिलीव एनी वी ओनली बिलीव द कोर्ट जब कोर्ट कहेगी तब हम मानेंगे ये कहा गया था पिछले हफ्ते तक द पॉइंट बींग मेड सुधांशु त्रिवेदी एंड रीना इज दैट व्हेन द कोर्ट से समथिंग अबाउट अस वी विल टेक इट सीरियसली टिल देन वी विल नॉट टेक इट सीरियसली आई सेड ओके नाउ यू सेड रीना द अरेस्ट इज इलीगल कहा था कि नहीं कहा था रीना जी कहा था कि नहीं कहा था अरेस्ट इज इलीगल अभी आज कोर्ट ने कहा है करेस्ट इज कंप्लीटली लीगल arrest is necessary no no you said arrest is illegal and aapne kaha court ne nahi kaha arrest is illegal court has said arrest is totally totally legal point 1 to aap pehle to ye boliye ki court ne jo kaha hai usko mante hai ki nahi aaj ke baad kabhi bhi bahar ja ke nahi bolenge arrest is illegal because delhi high court has said arrest is necessary and arrest is legal just respond to this one point to this one point very specifically respond reena gupta arrest is legal says the delhi high court do you agree or not arnab i have utmost regard for the courts the honorable supreme court also said show us the money trail there is no money trail your case will fall flat in 2 minutes ये सारे भी ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट के ही रिमार्क्स हैं आज क्या बात क्लियर हो गई दो बातें बिल्कुल क्लियर हो गई पहली बात कि शरद रेड्डी जिसको ये किंग पिन बोलते हैं आज ऑन रिकॉर्ड कोर्ट ने एक्सेप्ट किया है कि शरद रेड्डी से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने 59 करोड़ की रिश्वत ली है उसके बाद शरद रेड्डी को बेल दी है दूसरी बात मगुंडा रेड्डी जो इनका दूसरा सरकारी गवाह था आप आप कोर्ट के नाम पे झूठ ना बोले अपनी आप कोर्ट के नाम पे झूठ ना बोले की तरफ से टिकट आप झूठ बोल रहे हैं 
चुनाव लड़ने के लिए नो नो यू आर लाइन तीसरी बात तीसरी बात यू आर लाइन लेट मी कंप्लीट प्लीज लेट मी कंप्लीट अर्नब तीसरी बात तीसरी बात देर आर सेवरल विटनेसेस इंक्लूडिंग चंदन रेड्डी समीर महेंद्रू दिनेश अरोड़ा जिन्होंने ऑन रिकॉर्ड कोर्ट में एफिडेविट दिया है कि हमारे को पीटा गया हमारे को मारा गया उसके बाद हमने अपने ग, अपनी गवाही चेंज करी ये चंदन रेड्डी का एफिडेविट है ये मेरा बयान नहीं है चंदन रेड्डी ने एफिडेविट दिया है कि मुझे इतना मारा गया मेरे दोनों कानों के पर्दे फट गए अगर इसी इतना किसी को पीटा जाएगा उसके बाद तो जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी कहेगी वो वो बोलने को तैयार हो जाएंगे दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट इज हैपन इन दिस केस इट इज अलिटिकल भारतीय जनता पार्टी बींग एग्जीक्यूटेड थ्रू दी रीना Rina today nobody will believe you today i'll tell you now i'll get sudanshu to respond first point is mera sawal kya tha viewers what was my question my question was the delhi high court has said that the arrest was legal the arrest was necessary the arrest was as per due procedure aam aadmi party says the arrest was illegal they told me earlier if the court says the arrest was legal tab manenge agar ed bolegi arrest was legal nahi manenge और आज कोर्ट ने कहा है द अरेस्ट वॉज लीगल एंड नेसेसरी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द एविडेंस दैट वी हैव विद अस एंड येट टुनाइट यू वॉच ऑन द प्रोग्राम दिस इवनिंग एंड इवनिंग आफ्टर इवनिंग आफ्टर इवनिंग द आम आदमी पार्टी कम्स इन सेज अरेस्ट वॉज इन लीगल अरे भाई हाउ द कोर्ट इज सेइंग द अरेस्ट वॉज लीगल यू वॉन्ट बिलीव द कोर्ट्स नाउ कैन आई रिस्पॉन्ड इन फाइव सेकेंड्स Sudhan Chaturvedi is on the debate by question when I answer. Sudhan Chaturvedi responding to Reena tonight. No, Sudhan yes, Chaturvedi responding to Reena tonight. The same High Court uh, made all of these remarks. Sudhan Chaturvedi responding to you tonight. What happened? Supreme Court. Big debate night twenty two p.m. Ah, yes. was. Badal diya. Badla ki nahi badla Supreme Court ne. The one thing. A uh, weak ground. And now. The picture is very clear today. The cunning strategy of Aam Aadmi Party to play the legal procedure for the purpose of. अरे भाई अब क्या मैटर कर रहा है? क्या हुआ संजय सिंह को सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बेल दी? Now can I speak, ma'am? Uh, so now the, now the picture is very clear. The cunning strategy of Aam Aadmi Party to use the uh, legal procedure for the purpose of their political gimmick and political theatric has fallen flat, and court has taken a serious aspersion on that. And one more thing, I would like to say, Mr. Kejriwal is one of the most highly educated politicians of the country. Has shown that how highly immoral a person can be. This is the party who uses to say that the the moment delegation is there, the person has to resign. But he has didn't resign despite such a strong snub by the court. And uh, are now my more serious question is that, अरे भाई इस देश में एक लॉबी हुआ करती थी जो बहुत तेजी से एक्टिव होती थी किसी के एलिगेशन लगने पे. Immediate इस्तीफा दे otherwise there will be a misuse of power. और यहाँ तक कहती थी कि the matter should be shifted to other states high court. आज कहा है वो लोग आफ्टर सच ए स्ट्रॉन्ग कमेंट ऑफ हाई कोर्ट नो बडी इज आस्किंग दैट देर कैन बी ए स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ मिस यूज ऑफ पावर इन द पर्सन रिमेन्स एंड पर्टिकुलरली एज हेड ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑन विच डेलीगेशन इज देयर एंड एवरीबडी इज कीपिंग मम so the people of india you, should you, understand you. the conspiracy that from where these ngo lobby operates and in for which interest these ngo lobby operate and one more thing i would like to say oh viewers i have big news bahut padhe likhe aur is baat bahut chalaki hai i have some really big news one sentence uh, anam okay are sudanshu bhai bahut badi khabar aayi hai haath mein sudanshu bhai aapko rok raha hu आपको रोक रहा हूं व्यूअर्स 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 आई हैव टू शेयर समथिंग आई हैव टू शेयर समथिंग देखिए इसको करीब से व्यूअर्स वॉच दिस वॉच दिस केयरफुली रीना जी रीना जी रीना जी टिकट दिया चुनाव रीना जी रीना जी का फोटो लगा के चुनाव रीना जी जिसको रीना जी ज्यादा बोल के फायदा नहीं होगा मेरे हाथ में दस्तावेज आ चुके हैं And अरे आज का गोवा कैंडिडेट खुद बात कर रहा है कि उसके पास पैसा आया भाई <laughs> अरे <laughs> आप बताइए ना आपने शरद रेड्डी से चंदा क्यों लिया 
आपने किंग पिन से चंदा क्यों लिया इस बात का जवाब दीजिए आप अरे भाई आज तो सात कोर्ट ने क्या दिया क्यों दे दी किसको टिकट मिला किसने वोट दिया उसका कोर्ट के प्रोसीडिंग में कोई मतलब नहीं है साठ करोड़ एंड यू हैव यूज द वर्ल्ड सब मेरे हाथ में सब मेरे हाथ में सब कुछ मेरे हाथ में है सब कुछ मेरे हाथ में है सब कुछ मेरे हाथ में है रीना जी रीना जी एवरीथिंग इज इन माय हैंड्स टुनाइट प्लीज प्लीज सुधांश चतुर्वेदी डोंट डोंट मेक डोंट मेक व्यूअर्स वेट व्यूअर्स को रोकिए मत व्यूअर्स को रोकिए मत व्यूअर्स को रोकिए मत रीना जी वन मिनट होल्ड ऑन होल्ड ऑन होल्ड ऑन व्यूअर्स को मत रोकिए ये जो दस्तावेज मेरे हाथ में है ये बहुत जरूरी है इसमें कुछ ऐसे चीजें कही गई है कोर्ट में एंड व्यूअर्स दिस कोर्ट ऑर्डर इज विथ नो किसी के पास ये कोर्ट ऑर्डर नहीं है एज यूजुअल कोई चैनल नहीं है कोई साइट नहीं है सिर्फ और सिर्फ एज यूजुअल रिपब्लिक मीडिया नेटवर्क के पास सौ पेज की ऑर्डर हाथ में आ चुके हैं इसका पॉइंट नंबर वन जीरो एट पढ़ने वाला हूं पॉइंट नंबर वन जीरो एट बहुत एक्सप्लोसिव है सुधांश चतुर्वेदी सुधांश चतुर्वेदी रीना जी प्लीज लेट मी रीड वन जीरो एट वन जीरो एट व्यूअर्स व्यूअर्स मैं अब मैं मैं लेफ्ट राइट right कुछ नहीं पढ़ रहा मैं जैसे लिखा गया उसको पढ़ रहा हूं इसके इसको ध्यान से सुना जाए और व्यूअर्स दीज आर द वर्ड्स ऑफ द दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट रिमेंबर इसकी बहुत लीगल वैलिडिटी है एज रिगार्ड्स द मटेरियल इन पोजेशन ऑफ द डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एनफोर्समेंट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच देर वर रीजन टू बिलीव दैट द पेटिशनर अरविंद केजरीवाल वॉज गिल्टी ऑफ द ऑफेंस ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग for the purpose of section 19 of the prevention of money laundering act the court has already taken note of this material in the detailed discussion above yani ki court has already seen the material seen the material and usme bahut kuch find kiya hai unhone now there are statements of witnesses including approvers of c arvind shri buchi babu shri magunta reddy shri ragab magunta shri sharat reddy and shri vijay nayar the statement of shri vijay nayar has also been recorded under section 50 of pmla and section 164 of crpc viewers this is so big Raj, arvind kejriwal's closest man vijay nayar has exposed him and given statements against him And till last week आपको याद होगा सुधांशु त्रिवेदी ये कहते थे विजय नायर कहां अप्रूवर है कहां बोल रहे हैं सब कुछ बोल दिया अभी मैं और आगे बोल रहा हूं और आगे बोल रहा हूं सुधांशु जी इसको सुनिए स्टैंड एज वेल एज अदर मटीरियल सच एज एंट्री रजिस्टर ऑफ द ऑफिस ऑफ द पेटिशनर विच रिफ्लेक्ट दैट द पेटिशनर एलिजिडली was personally involved in the formulation of the delhi excise policy 2021 22 and that arvind kejriwal was prima facie in process of demanding kickbacks from the south group in exchange for favors prima facie arvind kejriwal involved in kickbacks from the south group similarly material has also been collected by the director of enforcement in the form of statements of hawala operators one candidate of aam aadmi party a survey workers area managers assembly managers who were all working with the aam aadmi party during the goa election along with whatsapp chats between several persons and other material collected through the raids of income tax which reveal that the kickbacks which were received from the south group were utilized by the aam aadmi party for funding goa elections whose 2022 whose national convener is the present petitioner arvind kejriwal this is very big this is evidence and viewers isme what comes out is the court has applied its mind on the on the evidence abhi tak ye bolte the aam aadmi party wale press conference mein sudhanshu trivedi ji hamare khilaf ek bhi page nahi mila hai koi evidence nahi mili hai abhi sari evidence jo mili hai us par court ne apni mind apply karne ke baad ye decision di hai no no this is huge uh this is huge अभी इसके बाद आप ये भी नहीं बोल सकते कि एविडेंस नहीं सुधांशु त्रिवेदी पहले फिर रीना सुधांशु वर्सेस रीना दिस डिबेट इज बिकमिंग वेरी बिग लेडीज एंड जेलमैन सुधांशु त्रिवेदी फर्स्ट सुधांशु त्रिवेदी फर्स्ट आफ्टर दैट रीना वन फर्स्ट सुधांशु देन यू फर्स्ट सुधांशु देन यू as provided by the ed after sudhan chand kapoor you know the statement of aam aadmi party's goa candidate that he has received cash and with a subsequent money trail which has been connected to whatsapp chats and other things and now if the vijay nair is saying 
I have not seen the judgment as you have said. But what you are quoting that if Vijay Nair has also given an statement, तो जानते क्या हो रहा है? अन्नो ये कुर्सी क्यों नहीं छोड़ रहे हैं? इनको किसी और से डर नहीं है, अपनों से डर है क्योंकि इन्होंने इतने लोगों को डिच किया है पार्टी बनने से लेकर किरण बेदी से लेकर प्रशांत भूषण शांति भूषण योगेंद्र यादव कुमार विश्वास एडमिरल रामदास शाजिया इल्मी अश्विनी उपाध्याय इतना कि अब इनको इस बात पे भरोसा नहीं हो रहा है कि अगर मैंने कुर्सी छोड़ी तो क्या होगा कहीं मेरे साथ भी वही ना हो जाए और जब इनके क्लोज एसोसिएट्स भी ये करते जा रहे हैं तो मामले में जितनी कानूनी पेचीदगियां हैं उससे ज्यादा सियासी पेचीदगियां हैं और उससे ज्यादा डर अपनों से है ये कह रहे हैं कि इनको सरकार से डर है सरकार से नहीं अपने कर्मों से डर है इस समय अपनों से डर है जिनको इस बात का डर है कि मेरी सरकार का क्या होगा इसलिए कुर्सी से चिपके रहना इनकी मजबूरी एक, एक एक और एक और मुझे बहुत बहुत सेंसेशनल बात है रीना गुप्ता मैं माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू यू प्लीज लिसन वेरी केयरफुली रीना गुप्ता बिकॉज बिकॉज नो माय क्वेश्चन टू यू माय क्वेश्चन टू यू माय क्वेश्चन टू यू नो नो यू हैव टू लिसन टू दिस क्वेश्चन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन अ वेरी बिग क्वेश्चन अ मैसिव क्वेश्चन अ वेरी फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन एन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एन इंक्रिमिनेटिंग क्वेश्चन अ नेसेसरी क्वेश्चन एन ऑब्वियस क्वेश्चन अ स्ट्रेट क्वेश्चन रीना गुप्ता हियर इज माई क्वेश्चन टिल नाउ यू हैव सेड टिल नाउ यू हैव सेड हर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में सौरभ भारद्वाज यही कहते हैं कि पे अभी तक हमारे खिलाफ कोई नई एविडेंस नहीं आई है नाउ लेट मी टेल यू व्यूअर्स पैरा नंबर 110 सेज हैविंग गॉन थ्रू द रिकॉर्ड्स ऑफ द केस इंक्लूडिंग द केस फाइल हैंडेड ओवर बाय द इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग ऑफिसर यानी पूरी केस फाइल और एविडेंस इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग ऑफिसर ने कोर्ट को दी है और उसको स्टडी करने के बाद द कोर्ट इज ऑफ द ओपिनियन The argument of the petitioner Arvind Kejriwal is misconceived as the directorate of investigation of enforcement after October 2023 has carried out further investigation and has recorded statements of several persons including the statements of Sri ND Gupta recorded on 16/11 2023 as there was the statement of one candidate of the Aam Aadmi Party now one more point listen here the court has said there are other statements also as pursued by the court in the case file including one statement recorded on 20th of march 2024 which contain material prima facie incriminating qua the petitioner this is huge the delhi high court has said jo evidence hai ye bahut incriminating hai vis a vis kejriwal these are extremely strong observations reena gupta The court has examined the evidence and is finding the evidence very strong against you, Allow Prime Minister. Allow me to speak now. आप समझ रहे हैं ये कितना serious हो रहा है? Allow me to speak. This is the observation of the court. Of course, you speak. मैं समझ रही हूँ. But, but these are the observations of the court. मैं समझ सकती हूँ. बोलने तो दो मुझे. आ, तो आप बिल्कुल समझेंगी. बिल्कुल समझेंगी. जी. आप बोलिए. पहली बात तो ये अरनाब. कि सुधांशु त्रिवेदी बोल रहे हैं उन्होंने जजमेंट पढ़ा नहीं है फिर भी उनको पता है कि जजमेंट में क्या लिखा है ऐसा कैसे हो सकता है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी को जजमेंट पढ़ने से पहले पता है कि जजमेंट में क्या लिखा है पहली बार अरे भाई सुनाई नहीं पड़ता आपको मैंने क्या बोलने की कोशिश कर प्रवक्ता है आप शांत होके मेरी बात सुनिए आप अरे भाई आप सरासर झूठ बोल रही है मैंने कहा वॉट यू हैव कोटेड फ्रॉम दर्ज और आप ऐसे कह रही है इतना तो झूठ मत बोलिए और उस दिन बोलिए उस दिन भी गला फाड़ फाड़ के भारतीय जनता पार्टी के प्रवक्ता बोल रहे थे सारी बातें उसके बाद क्या हुआ सुप्रीम कोर्ट में केस गया सब शांत हो गए सबका सबकी बोलती बंद कर दी सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने संजय सिंह को बेल देके सेम विल हैपन इन दिस केस आल्सो वी विल टेक दिस टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड इन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट लाइव फ्लैट दैट इज पॉइंट नंबर टू पॉइंट नंबर थ्री पॉइंट नंबर थ्री वन मिनट आर ना पॉइंट नंबर थ्री Do you realize what I asked you? I told you, Rina. No, no. You can't give your own statements. You know, you cannot avoid my question like this. No, Rina. One minute, Rina. Rina, आज मुझे रोकना पड़ रहा है. You are आपकी tendency है. You are not being able to answer my question. If you are not able to answer my question, तो बोल दीजिए. Or no, आपके question बहुत difficult है. आपका material बहुत strong है. I cannot answer your question. मुझे avoid करने की जरूरत है. 
मैं कुछ और बात बोलूंगी आप कुछ और कहेंगे इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू आंसर माई क्वेश्चन यू कैन से और नो आई के नॉट हैंडल योर क्वेश्चन आई के नॉट आंसर योर क्वेश्चन तो फिर मेरे क्वेश्चन मेरा क्वेश्चन क्या था मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि कोर्ट हैज सेड दैट इट इज एग्जामिन द एविडेंस एंड फाउंड प्राइम ऑफ एसी गिल्ट दैट इट इज एग्जामिन द एविडेंस अगेंस्ट अरविंद केजरीवाल एंड फाउंड प्राइम ऑफ एसी गिल्ट व्हाट डज दैट मीन व्हाट डज दैट मीन अर्नब अर्नब द सेम कोर्ट द सेम कोर्ट सेड ऑल ऑफ दीस थिंग्स इन केस ऑफ संजय सिंह इन अनदर केस फिर क्या हुआ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द केस ऑन केजरीवाल सुप्रीम कोर्ट आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द संजय सिंह केस सेम होली डिफरेंट ऑल ऑफ द सेम आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द केजरीवाल केस सॉरी नो 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 जस्टिस खन्ना ने दिखाया शो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द केजरीवाल केस शो आस द मनी ट्रेल तो कुछ नहीं दिखा पाई गांड ईडी वाज नॉट एबल टू शो द मनी ट्रेल ED was not able to show any proceeds of the crime. I'll the tell you one thing. Way, no, 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 no. Lower court's judgment, high court overturn karti hai. High court ka judgment, Supreme Court overturn karta hai. Isme to koi nayi baat hai hi nayi. Or ab you to ab to court ko believe nahi karti hai. That is what the Supreme Court said. Ab to court system ko believe nahi karti hai. Or I want to make flat. Okay, I'll, I'll, okay. Ab main ab sabse explosive bol deta. नहीं ये बहुत ज्यादा हो रहा मैं मैं बहुत एक्सप्लोसिव पॉइंट है एक मिनट सुधांशु जी बहुत 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 एक्सप्लोसिव पॉइंट है नहीं नहीं सुधांशु जी ये सुनिए उसके बाद ये बहुत एक्सप्लोसिव पॉइंट है विस्फोटक पॉइंट है एक्सप्लोसिव पॉइंट है कैटेगोरिकल पॉइंट है इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है मेरी बात सुनिए इस पॉइंट को सुनिए द कोर्ट हैज सेड और इसके बाद देखिए रीना जी कैसे रेस्पॉन्ड करेंगे इस पर उनको शॉकिंग लगेगा कि आज ये सिचुएशन है मगर उनको एक्सेप्ट तो करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि कोर्ट ने कहा है द कोर्ट हैज सेड देयर फॉर प्राइमा फैसी द मैंडेटरी प्रोविजन ऑफ सेक्शन नाइनटीन ऑफ पी एम एल एव बीन सेटिस्फाइड बाई द डायरेक्टर ऑफ एनफोर्समेंट टू एल अरेस्टिंग द पिटिशनर श्री अरविंद केजरीवाल इन कंप्लायस ऑफ द जजमेंट ऑफ पंकज बंसल एंड अब यह सुनिए सुधांशु जी इसको सुनिए गौर से एंड देर इज मटीरियल एट द स्टेज which points towards the guilt of the petitioner arvind kejriwal for commission of the offence of money laundering para 114 speaks that there is material prima facie accepted by the court which points towards the guilt of arvind kejriwal observations of the court mm. observations of the court this is very strong this is very difficult there can be no comparison drawn to the sanjay singh case is wholly different sudanshu trivedi responding to this debate is opening up with reena once again viewers the order copy with me tonight sudanshu trivedi just very uh, one thing i want to say that if they are so much innocent that has been claimed by aam aadmi party then there was no need of destroying dozens of sim card dozens of phones and even the laptop and there was no need of uh, sri kejriwal ji saying that i have forgotten the password they could have provided all the uh, mobile phones and all the sim cards so that itself proves that ki dal mein kitna gehra kala tha and on the technical point what reena ji was saying the case of sanjay singh and the case that of kejriwal ji is totally none different of the, none sanjay of the singh card, applied for the bail the but uh, let let Stop let me complete sanjay trivedi पंजाब का चीफ मिनिस्टर कहता है कि मैं दिल्ली के सीएम से बात कर रहा था अचानक फोन कट गया मैंने मिलाया तो पता चला कि उसका रिचार्ज खत्म हो गया था इस ढंग की अपसर्ट बात करने वाले कि चीफ मिनिस्टर के पास रिचार्ज क्या हुआ फोन होता है क्या चीफ मिनिस्टर के पास सरकारी फोन होता है जिसका रिचार्ज कभी खत्म होता वो पोस्टपेड होता है इतनी अपसर्ट इन लॉजिकल बात करने वालों से क्या बात की जाए नॉन कमिंग टू दिकल पॉइंट और देखिए डिस्टर्ब करने के अलावा कोई ऑप्शन नहीं नाउ देर इज नो ऑप्शन लेफ्ट अदर देन डिस्टर्बिंग वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग फाइट अरे भाई झूठ क्या बोल रहे हैं ये तो आप रिकॉर्ड है झूठ और सच सामने आ चुका और मैं एक और बात कहना चाहता हूँ झूठ बोल अभी ये बात देखिए आप डिस्टर्ब लगातार कर रहे हैं लक्ष्मण पार्टी आप जवाब दीजिए 
कि कैसे आपने शरद रेड्डी से पत... अरे भाई आप जवाब दीजिए पासवर्ड क्यों नहीं मिल रहा है आप जवाब दीजिए दर्जनों सिम कार्ड क्यों गायब हो गए आप जवाब दीजिए दर्जनों फोन क्यों डिस्टॉर्ट कर दिए गए अब मैं पूछता हूँ दूसरी बात और सुनिए टिकट दिया भाई आप अगर मंगूटा रेडी ये प्रीपेड सिम कार्ड से आपके चीफ मिनिस्टर क्यों बात करते हैं भाई जब सीएम के पास ऑफिशियल फोन होता है तो प्रीपेड सिम कार्ड से आपके चीफ मिनिस्टर क्यों बात करते हैं ये भगवत मान का ऑफिशियल बयान है कि वो बात कर रहे थे केजरीवाल से उसके बाद फोन कट गया तो पता चला उसका रिचार्ज खत्म हो गया नाउ यू मेक इट वेरी क्लियर वाई और प्रीपेड फोन यूर चीफ मिनिस्टर वॉज टॉकिंग बताइए जवाब दीजिए जवान हो चक्की पी सिंह चक्की पी सिंह मुझे इंटरफेयर करना पड़ेगा आप दोनों प्लीज रुक जाइए इट्स अ टू हॉट डिबेट और डिबेट बहुत ज्यादा हॉट है सारे भ्रष्टाचार द डिबेट इज वेरी हॉट जनता पार्टी में द डिबेट इज वेरी हॉट मुझे इंटरवीन करना पड़ रहा है रीना जी प्लीज प्लीज सेपरेट वन आई वांट टू स्पीक जस्ट वन सेकंड रीना जी एंड सुधांशु जी जस्ट वन सेंटेंस वन सेकंड नो आज केस इज डिफरेंट थर्टी थर्टी सेकंड करो थर्टी थर्टी सेकंड करो मैं थर्टी थर्टी सेकंड करता हूँ मैं थर्टी सेकंड थर्टी सेकंड थर्टी सेकंड थर्टी सेकंड थर्टी सेकंड तो सुधांश चतुर्वेदी तो नहीं सुधांश चतुर्वेदी थर्टी सेकंड ब्रीफ कोर्ट में कौन सा वॉल्यूम को तो सुधांश जेल में थर्टी सेकंड करेंगे या आरएस के खिलाफ अपील करेंगे काइंडली रीना जी बता दे आप इस बात का जवाब ये बताइए अरे भाई वो टेप रिकॉर्डर बहुत हो गया इस पर टेक्निकल जवाब दीजिए ये टेप रिकॉर्डर बारह दिन से चल रहा है कोर्ट ने सारी बातें देख ली आप ये बताइए केजरीवाल जी विल मूव टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट फॉर बेल और फॉर अगेंस्ट इज अरेस्ट बिकॉज इन हाई कोर्ट ही वॉज अगेंस्ट अरेस्ट नॉट लाइक संजय सिंह एप्लीकेशन फॉर बेल एंड सेकेंड टेक्निकल पॉइंट संजय सिंह गॉट बेल बिकॉज ईडी सेट दैट दे आर टेकन कम्प्लीट एविडेंस एंड देर इज नो नीड ऑफ फर्दर एविडेंस उसके बाद आप कह रही है अरे भाई ईडी ने कहा कि हमें फर्दर कस्टडी नहीं चाहिए तो आपने कैसे कहा सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने हाई कोर्ट ने जजमेंट बदल दिया आपने यहाँ पे सरासर झूठ बोला हाई कोर्ट का जजमेंट अगर बदला होता सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने तो था ईडी ने सुप्रीम कोर्ट में कहा कि हमने जितनी पूछताछ करनी थी कर ली अब हमें नहीं चाहिए ये सरासर झूठ बोलने की जो आदत है आम आदमी पार्टी वालों के साथ नॉन स्टाफ बोलते रहने की जो वजह से स्थिति हुई है सारे के सारे कट्टर ईमानदार लोग आज टूटेंगे ना कल टूटेंगे कोई नहीं टूटेगा आप आप क्या सोचते हैं आप अरविंद केजरीवाल को तोड़ लेंगे बिल्कुल नहीं तोड़ पाएंगे अरविंद केजरीवाल को आप दिल्ली में राज करने का जो आपका सपना है वो अगले दस साल तक पूरा नहीं होगा अगले किरण बेदी से लेके प्रशांत भूषण शांति भूषण योगेंद्र यादव कुमार विश्वास कितने टूटे हैं भाई क्या आशीष के नाम से लेके कितने टूटे हैं ये टूटने का डर ही कुर्सी छूटने नहीं दे रहा है ये टूटने का डर ही कुर्सी छूटने नहीं दे रहा है सिर्फ ईडी सीबीआई का मिस करना आता है आपको और आपने इस समय देश में अपालकालीन इमरजेंसी घोषित कर रखी है जिस तरह से इमरजेंसी के टाइम में अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी एल गुप्ता जेल में डाला गया था पब्लिक का सवाल है सारे नेताओं को जेल में डाल नेशन वांट्स टू नो द नेशन वांट्स टू नो पूछता है भारत सारी चीजें आपके मान ली रीना जी सवाल सिर्फ ये है कोर्ट क्यों कहता है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल इस षडयंत्र में शामिल थे Why is the court saying that Arvind Kejriwal is involved in the conspiracy? That is the only question now. Sudhan Chaturvedi, go ignore it. Please, Sudhan Chaturvedi. Can I respond? Let's say, believe me, a biased, prejudiced, uh, one-sided person. So, political party spokesperson will say his own things, keep his own point, keep his own point, keep his own point, keep his own point, keep his own point. Sudhan Chaturvedi, go ignore it. Please. But Reena Ji, give the court the answer. The court is saying. कि अरविंद केजरीवाल कंस्पिरसी में इन्वॉल्व है यू हैव टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इसको आप अवॉइड मत कीजिए रीना जी आप मुझे सुन पा रहे हैं यू कैन हियर मी ऑडियो लिंक बहुत अच्छा है वाई इज द कोर्ट से अरविंद केजरीवाल इज इन्वॉल्व इन द कंस्पिरसी वाई इज द कोर्ट एंड सेकेंड नाउ दैट यू आर लिसनिंग टू मी एंड द कोर्ट इज सेंग इट एज एग्जामिन द एविडेंस एंड फाउंड प्राइम ऑफ एस गिल्ट अगेंस्ट द पिटिशनर That is Arvind Kejriwal. It's a court, court, right? 
कोर्ट इज से प्लीज वाई इज द कोर्ट से दिस क्यों कह रही है कोर्ट स्पेसिफिक रिप्लाई पहला स्पेसिफिक रिप्लाई वाई इज द कोर्ट से इंग डोंट इंटरप्ट मी अर्नब हा मैं मैं जवाब दे रही हूं इंटरप्ट मत करिएगा द सेम कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस स्वर्ण कांता शर्मा एंड अर्नब आई एम रीडिंग इट आउट येस्टरडे शी स्टेड द कन्विक्शन ऑफ दिलीप रे दिलीप रे जिसको तीन साल की सजा हो चुकी कुछ पूछ रहा हूं उसका कन्विक्शन सेम कोर्ट ने स्टे किया दैट दिलीप रे इज सेट टू कंटेस्ट ऑन अ भारतीय जनता पार्टी टिकट टुमोरो द सेम कोर्ट द सेम कोर्ट डिनाइड बेल टू संजय सिंह द सेम कोर्ट हैज डिसमिस द प्ली ऑफ अरविंद केजरीवाल आई के नॉट से मोर देन दैट अर्नब आई थिंक यू एंड योर व्यूअर्स आर स्मार्ट इनफ टू पुट द टू एंड टू टूगेदर and see it's not it's not equal to 4 no, it's more I, than 4 i don't four. know you I, so I don't understand. the courts i don't see the logic here said things all right so so suprasta so wanted to come back to the debate what did suprasta want to come back to the debate i let him what did suprasta go on suprasta wants to come back to the debate yeah go on suprasta this is a crazy situation on the debate tonight so so that's the one minute suprasta 30 second intervention the debate is very hot tonight unmute 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 yeah Unmute, unmute, Subhash. Unmute. You wanted to respond. I thought there to what Reena yes, was saying. Can I, can I, yes, can uh, I, can I put a point? Arnab, you know, I've been commission. very patiently listening to Reena ji for a very really long Subhrashta, time. Subhrashta, Subhrashta. Let me, you know, let me, let me tell her that her, her almost an hour-long rant on Republic is not going to answer basic, simple questions that people are asking today. Even the Honorable High Court asked. Why today. don't you first introduce who Subhrashta, Subhrashta is, Arnab? Who is she? Can we get an introduction? Subhrashta is a Subhrashta is a well-known columnist and author with a strong view on public affairs and a free citizen of the country. She is not involved in the liquor scam. And she is not a BJP spokesperson. She has never had any role in the liquor scam. And she is not a BJP spokesperson. 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 And she is not That liquor scam. Where is the white paper? I have been asking. The nation ever... wants to know whether you are a BJP spokesperson or not. It's a simple question. Answer the question say that yes the honourable no. High Court asked. No, you are not a BJP spokesperson. Answer the basic, simple question the honourable High Court asked. Why was Arvind Kejriwal absconding to nine summons from the elect from the uh, ED? Who are you to why ask questions? No, no. Who why did you ask questions? What's your local stand? I. Do you have some shame left in you? All throughout the show, you disturb every person in the show, making a general rant Arre, against. You should some tell us who you are first, na? Why do you come as a proxy? Proxy emergency. Who Why is Arvind Kejriwal? Everybody, 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 everybody on, everybody on, everybody on, everybody on. Arvind Kejriwal, today emergency. Everybody on the debate, sir. Any hot debate tonight? Unke god mein kilone ek pe bacha rahe wo. Please. Kya baat kar rahi hai aap? How dare you invoke the emergency? Please, please. How dare you invoke the emergency? Who do you think people of this country are? Why? 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 Why?
अर्नाब अर्नाब अ लोअर कोर्ट जजमेंट गेट्स ओवर टर्न बाय द हायर कोर्ट हायर कोर्ट जजमेंट गेट्स ओवर टर्न बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट फाइव जज जजमेंट गेट्स ओवर टर्न बाय अ सेवन कोर्ट जज बेंच सो इट डजेंट मीन एनीथिंग it's just an interpretation of the law the same way i am saying high court judgment doesn't mean anything court state the conviction high court order does not mean anything pray, the very same court dismissed the petition the very same court dismissed the petition of 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 sunday singh whereas the high no, whereas no, the, the supreme uh, that has nothing to do to no no one that's all i'm saying so I'm so I, no no one what does dilip pray's case have to else. do with kejriwal's case What does Dilip Pray's case have to do with Kejriwal's case? I still don't understand it at all. आप कोई कोल स्कैम को लेकर स्कैम के साथ लिंक करके क्या कहने की कोशिश करें मैं समझ नहीं पा रहा. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Hmm. मैं हाँ मैं. Are you trying to put allegations on the court? If you are trying to put allegations of the court, you tell me directly. Yes, I'm alleging things against the court. फिर contempt of court हो जाएगी. I am. I am just stating facts. I am not allegation putting any allegation. I am only stating facts. that in today in the court the honorable judge said that the chief minister is also like any other ordinary ordinary common person the same judge in the case of dilip ray said kyunki wo itne saal se rajneeti mein hai aur chunav ka mahol hai isliye unke conviction ko stay kiya ja raha hai to same court ne do baatein boli hain yahi court ne sanjay singh ke case mein bail nahi di सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बेल दे दी माय गॉड व्हाट आर यू सेइंग माय गॉड इसंट दैट इज योर ली नो 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 वन मिनट वन मिनट यू आर बीइंग सेलेक्टिव इन योर कोटिंग ऑफ द वर्ड्स ऑफ द कोर्ट एंड सुधा चतुर्वेदी इज ऑन द डिबेट डिबेट इज ऑन अगेन सुधा चतुर्वेदी इज ऑन द डिबेट डिबेट इज ऑन अगेन यस प्लीज रीना जी आप झूठ मत बोलिए संजय सिंह के केस में ईडी ने कहा वी हैव टेकन एनफ एविडेंस नाउ वी डू नॉट वांट फर्दर कस्टडी फिर आप कैसे करी हाईकोर्ट का जजमेंट बदल दिया भारतीय जनता अगर ईडी ने मांगा होता है और फिर रिजेक्ट हो जाती तब आप कहते इसलिए झूठ मत बोलिए ईडी सेड दैट वी हैव टेकन एनफ कस्टडी नाउ वी डू नॉट नीड अब बदल गई ना बदल गई इसका मतलब ईडी ने नहीं किया देखिए आप कह रही थी हॉट हॉट डिबेट से ज्यादा डिस्टर्ब आप कर रही हैं क्योंकि यू आर लेफ्ट विद नो ऑप्शन अजय सुनिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी में नहीं जाएंगे कैसे छगन मुर्मल के केस में फाइल हो गई आप बताइए एक आवाज को तो आप सुनती है समझती है ना ये हो गई क्योंकि उन्होंने भारतीय जनता पार्टी ज्वाइन कर ली प्रफुल्ल पटेल का केस कैसे क्लोज हो गया प्रफुल्ल पटेल का केस कैसे क्लोज हो गया हेमंत शर्मा का केस कैसे क्लोज हो गया क्योंकि इन सब ने भारतीय जनता पार्टी ज्वाइन कर ली अरविंद जांच करानी है सोनिया गांधी को गिरफ्तार करो दो दिन उसका इंटेरोगेशन करो देखो पता चल जाएगा किस किस ने रिश्वत लिया और किस किस ने ये ये आवाज किसकी अरविंद केजरीवाल की है जो कहते थे कोई किसी की जांच नहीं कराएगा सब मिले हुए जी क्या बोल रहे हैं दो दिन के लिए सोनिया गांधी को अंदर करो और जांच करो उसके बाद सब पता चल जाएगा किसने किया है वो शख्स आज ये बोल रहा है अरे साफ दिख गया अन्ना के चेले से लालू यादव के चेले हो गए आपने ये कहा ना कि उन्होंने आप उनसे पूछ रही हैं ये कौन है रिप्रेजेंटेटिव अरे आज आप लालू यादव के रिप्रेजेंटेटिव हो गए हम तो गई उनसे आगे चले गए कम से कम लालू यादव ने इतना किया था कि जेल जाने से पहले रिसाइन कर दिया था आज वो रिसाइन करना भी छोड़ गया अरे भाई आपने तो क्या क्या बदला है क्या क्या कहा जाए I'm closing the very, very hottest political debate tonight, viewers. My God, my God, my God. ये शायद सुधांशु जी और रीना जी. I don't even want to stop the debate because because. ये उन्होंने सही बोला है गलत बोला. अदालत पे अभी मैं एक लाइन कहूँ. ये शायद. अपनी फजीहत कराने के लिए बाकी है जब वो इसलिए जब वो मुझे लगता है कि आसान के जेल जारी रहे तब उनके ऊपर प्रेशर था हमें कि वो मोदी जी का नाम लें तो उस समय आप क्या कहते हैं रीना जी एंड सुधांशु जी एंड आकाश दीप जी एंड सुभ्रष्टा जी बोलिए आई थिंक दिस इज बीन द हॉटेस्ट डिबेट ऑन लेकर गेट इसका इसका पार्ट टू करेंगे हॉटेस्ट डिबेट ऑन लेकर गेट शो लोग कह रहे हैं शो को बंद मत करो मैं कैसे बंद करूं 
दैट इफ एन ऑर्डिनरी सिटीजन वॉन्ट मोर द क्वेश्चन तो सवाल नहीं पूछ सके क्या गजब की अड़चन आई है भाई इसको इसको नहीं ब्रेक लेना पड़ेगा हमको तो एडवर्टीजमेंट से पैसा मिलता है लिकर गेट तो नहीं होता है ना हमारे लिए सो आई हैव टू टेक एन एडवर्टाइजिंग ब्रेक लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन व्हाट अ डिबेट टुनाइट विल टेक इट फॉरवर्ड एंड ऑन द अदर साइड दिस इवनिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर कैंपेनिंग इन तमिलनाडु एंड हाउ कुड दैट रिजल्ट इन सीट शेयर एंड नॉट जस्ट वोट शेयर व्हेन आई एम बैक गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन द बीजेपी इज गॉन इन फॉर द जगुलर in congress the calling the vadra congress party manifesto comparing comparable to the muslim league charter so the bjp says that the congress is sounding like the muslim league and by reacting in the way that they have or rather overreacting the vadra congress has only in my view worsened its problem because now more and more people are looking with a magnifying glass at the congress manifestos and trying to find the similarities between the muslim league line and the congress party line my advice to the congress is that they should stop being defensive they should admit that they are trying to appease the muslim community just admit it by denying that they are trying to do muslim appeasement the congress party is making millions and millions of indians reread the congress manifesto and ask the kind of question that i asked last week for example Why would almost all references to Hindus be negative references by constantly using the word majoritarianism? Everybody knows that when the Congress party is referring to the majority community is referring to the Hindu community and by calling it majoritarianism they are giving a negative spin to the Hindu community. Why would the Congress party do that and why would the Congress party want to effectively reserve positions in the higher judiciary of the country for Muslims? Why? Why? Besides being absolutely patronizing to the Muslim community, does this not does this effective reservation for Muslims only corroborate what the BJP is accusing the Congress party of? So my suggestion, and I know they obviously won't listen to it, but my suggestion to the Vadra Congress is that instead of trying to deny that they are doing Muslim appeasement, why don't they once admit it, admit it, that yes, we are doing Muslim appeasement, and then see what the people of India will say. and respond which they will anyway ladies and gentlemen big political debate of the congress party manifesto being compared by the prime minister modi kehta hai अध्यक्ष ने कहा है कि मोदी देश के दूसरे राज्यों में कश्मीर की बात क्यों करता है दूसरे राज्यों का कश्मीर से क्या लेना देना लेकिन 140 करोड़ देशवासियों के लिए कश्मीर मां भारती का मस्तक सवार है है कि नहीं है कश्मीर हमारा मस्तक है कि नहीं है कांग्रेस के घोषणा पत्र में पूरी तरह मुस्लिम लीग की छाप है और इस मुस्लिम लीग वाले घोषणा पत्र में जो कुछ हिस्सा बचा खुचा रह गया उसमें वामपंथी पूरी तरह हावी हो चुके हैं Two days after Prime Minister Modi's blistering attack on the Congress over its manifesto Congress chief Mallikarjun Kharge has led the fight back alleging BJP is rattled as the grand old party filed complaint with the election commission Aaj jab ye desh chunav ke muhane par aakar khada hai to pradhan mantri apko apna report card dikha kar vote mangna chahiye lekin usme nil bata sa nata score hai usme zabardast fail ka thappa laga hua hai और जब कुछ नहीं बचता है मोदी जी के पास तो वही घिसी पिटी हिंदू मुसलमान की स्क्रिप्ट पर आकर गिर जाते 
From calling for protection of Muslim personal laws to fighting against majoritarianism, the Congress Manifesto and Muslim League Charter have striking similarity. BJP has hit out at Congress for its Hindu-Muslim script charge. Mujhe Rahul Gandhi jawab de ki Vayanad mein naamankan patra mein ke jilus mein Congress party ke jhande kyun gaib ho gaye? Ye tushti karan ki rajniti kahan tak jayegi? Sirf Muslim League ko bhai na is karan se Congress party apne jhande tak ko hata de? Ye desh baatne ki jo chal hai. और तुष्टीकरण के आगे जो घुटने टेकने का इनका रवैया है इसको देश माफ नहीं करने वाला है बैक इन 2023 राहुल गांधी बैक्ड मुस्लिम लीग कॉलिंग इट सेक्युलर मुस्लिम मुस्लिम लीग इज अ कंप्लीटली सेक्युलर पार्टी देयर इज नथिंग देयर इज नथिंग नॉन सेक्युलर अबाउट मुस्लिम लीग क्वेश्चन टू ऑलवेज ट्राई टू सॉरी अबाउट दैट आई थिंक आई थिंक द पर्सन डजंट हैवन स्टडीड द मुस्लिम लीग फ्रॉम कास्ट टू सेसेशन Why is Congress wanting to divide India on all lines but not on nationalism? Congress party ne ek jhoot ka pulinda jari kiya. Congress ko benakab karne wala ek ghoshna patra hai. Aap dekhiye har panne par भारत के टुकड़े करने की पू आ रही है कांग्रेस के घोषणा पत्र में From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And now it's time after that really hot debate for the nation's sharpest opinion. Viewers, if I can request our production team to play full frame the pictures of the Prime Minister campaigning in Tamil Nadu. I just want to begin by saying, viewers, please understand what the real big story of the general elections. of 2024 are if you haven't noticed it yet let me tell you number one headline is going to be the bjp entry into the southern parts of india especially into tamil nadu the bjp led by prime minister narendra modi's personal political aggression the passion and deep synergy and strategy that the bjp is working with into making inroads into tamil nadu ladies and gentlemen please watch the pictures and understand and mark my words tonight 10 or 2 pm today i am saying the biggest headline of this election so far is the attempt by the bjp to enter tamil nadu which it will it should not be lost on anyone look at the crowds look at the responses the prime minister himself has been to tamil nadu more than one dozen times in the last 6 months but it would be folly on the part of anyone to dilute the significance of the bjp trying to make inroads to become the third force maybe the second force in tamil nadu politics everywhere the dmk is responding to the bjp even more to the dmk the dmk congress combine is threatened in an environment of only and only dravidian politics that has been spanning over 6 decades hindu vote polarization is a reality and the bjp is squarely saying that the anti dravidian politics ladies and gentlemen this entire this entire attempt 
by various parties to say that in Tamil Nadu the BJP cannot have an entry is something which is going to be proven wrong in this election. But why I believe that the BJP's campaign must be watched is because they are going for the jugular, ladies and gentlemen. It goes beyond the headline of the Prime Minister personally being invested in the campaign. It is about the fact that no matter where you are, you get a feeling that the BJP is going for a seat conversion, a dent, and then to climb on to the run-up, runner-up position up, across maximum seats in Tamil Nadu. My information on the ground is that the BJP could win many, many, many more seats. I'm not putting a number than what people are thinking. The BJP is contesting 23 on their own. DMK is contesting 22. They have got an alliance which is robust. Two of their allies regionally are led by ex-ministers in the UPA government. So the strategy of the BJP is deep. Most importantly, they've got a young leader, very aggressive, very dynamic, Annamalai, who's a very strong local face, hand-picked to deliver, and a slogan which says, my soil, my people, which tells you what I said long ago. That the Prime Minister's plank is integration. In Tamil Nadu, where politics has been anti-Sanatan, anti-Hindu, the Prime Minister is saying nation first. In a politics that says Hindi imposition, Prime Minister goes to Tamil Nadu repeatedly, not now but since two or three years ago, saying that India is proud of all its languages. And by bringing in Kachatibu into the election campaign, I believe the Prime Minister has once again gone for winning the trust of the people of Tamil Nadu to say the BJP is for their causes, the DMK is fooling them, the Congress is lying to them. Shattering the narrative of a Hindi belt first party. It is interesting, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a big state to watch out for, in my view. Watch out, ladies and gentlemen, the South is turning towards the BJP. Let's debate. With 2024 grand finale just days away, Prime Minister is leading the most aggressive campaign in Tamil Nadu. The Prime Minister has visited the state over 20 times in the past four months, making his mega development pitch. Top three economy banana. Is there Tamil Nadu ki, Chennai ki bhi, badi bhoomi ka. Bharat Sarkar, Chennai jaysi sahara ko, Bhishit karne ke liye, nirantar kaam kar rahi. From offering prayers at the Sri Ranganath Swami Temple in Trichy, taking holy dip in Rameshwaram, to going all guns blazing on Congress over Kachatibu. Tamil Nadu me, Bharat ke samudri tad se kuch dur samandar me ek tapu hai, ek dweep hai, Kachatibu. ये कांग्रेस के लोगों ने इंडियन लाइन के साथियों ने मां भारती का एक अंक काट दिया विद बीजेपीस फायर ब्रांड लीडर्स तमिल साइड्स ऑन द राजन एंड अन्नमलाई इन द पोल फ्रे बीजेपी होप्स टू स्केल द ड्रविडियन वॉल इन तमिलनाडु इट इज वेरी क्लियर देयर इज अ ह्यूज वे फॉर नरेंद्र मोदी जी इन तमिलनाडु इन प्लेसेस लाइक कोयंबटूर व्हिच आर growth oriented cities and the wave is more now and we are extremely confident that come April 19 the people of Coimbatore the people of Tamil Nadu will vote for Narendra Modiji in a overwhelming fashion and June 4 will herald a new era they have not taken any concrete steps to prevent the floods before asking PM I will ask where was the MP local MP did not turn out at all how can they ask our Honorable Prime Minister sent our uh, uh, Finance Minister uh, sent our uh, Raksha Mantri and they did a survey 
and they help immediately uh, they sent all the rescue team can bjp make a serious dent into tamil nadu will anamalai's game plan deliver for bjp let's debate oh ladies and gentlemen joining me first is uh, on the screen she's been former governor and now is the high profile candidate of the bjp from the high profile constituency ladies and gentlemen of uh, chennai south tamil asai soundarajan uh, good evening miss soundarajan good evening and last time we spoke you were governor yes and now you are back into active politics yes yes <laughs> thank our honorable i always i always had a suspicion may i say this at the start i always had a suspicion that you were going to go back into active politics oh so i always had that correct. feeling even when yeah, i spoke to you correct. last yeah i was uh, during the governorship it was also i was fighting uh, for uh, certain rights <laughs> yes yes for, uh, certain rights <laughs> amit sundarajan uh, the prime minister is spending so much time so much energy so much focus on tamil nadu even one of his first tv interviews in this campaign has been to tanti tv you know a tamil tv channel showing the importance he is giving the state of tamil nadu but can you convert it into seats or is it just going to increase the vote share a little bit can there can there be a vote seat share conversion in your view Uh, first of all i thank our honorable prime minister for focusing on tamil nadu because for quite some long time for long years the tamil nadu did not go into the national fold it was under the dravidian fold and it was almost cheated by the dravidian parties now the honorable prime minister is focusing and whenever he comes the tamil nadu chief minister stalin says the prime minister is sleepless but i can say only stalin is sleepless because he is commenting why our honorable prime minister is repeatedly coming to tamil nadu because when he comes the the uh, the misgovernance of dmk is exposed the corruption of dmk is exposed the underground mafia drug mafia is exposed so now the people understand how the dravidian party is only pampering and they were pampering with some freebies and there was no any concrete developmental activities in tamil nadu for example they provide uh, free bus travel and 1000 uh, rupees but the women doesn't have any opportunity like mudra loan or startup india stand up india so they don't have any schemes like that they camouflage all the central government schemes and they set a false narrative for example neat they do they very well know they cannot remove neat but they told after they come to power the first signature will be on removal of neat and they very well know that nep cannot be taken back because the uh, education is in the central subject but they till they tell they will remove nep that like that they set a false narrative and they built a false vote on that and always accuse our honorable prime minister because he is focusing on tamil and he is focusing on tamil nadu now they are worried because the, there is a shift from the dravidian force dravidian mindset to the national mindset the national mindset cannot be towards congress because 1967 the dmk finished the congress shamelessly congress is a uh, whole traveling on the shoulders of the dmk so now the people want an alternate force the people want a change at the same time this is cooperated and it is combined with the our honorable prime minister's visit and the strong padayatra and the strong action and the proactive measures of our our present uh, president of the bjp and his padayatra drawing a no, good, uh, young this- youngsters crowd yeah this 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 appro- uh, the stro- the basic approach of bjp is to bring hindu population together 
you know, with initiatives like Kashi Tamil Samagam, Saurashtra Tamil Sagam, Samagam, BJP has been trying to strike the Hindu chord, Sanatan chord among, amongst the Tamil population. DMK says, listen, this is not going to work. There is no pro-Hindu sentiment in Tamil Nadu. There may be a pro-Hindu sentiment in Uttar Pradesh. There may be a pro-Hindu sentiment in Assam. There can even be a pro-Hindu sentiment tomorrow in West Bengal. But there can never be politically Hindu vote polarization in Tamil Nadu because we have not had it for seven decades. It will not happen now. No, can there be Hindu vote, pro-Hindu vote polarization in Tamil Nadu? Yeah, because first of all, I want to say we are not relying only on pro-Hindu votes. We are relying on the developmental activities of our Honorable Prime Minister. For example, Vikshit Bharat tour, the, all the schemes were highlighted in the tour and the people are benefited. Each and every family will be benefited by the good schemes of our Honorable PM. At the same 